I'm sure many of you have heard this saying. Thoughts dictate actions. Actions dictate habits. Habits determine success or failure. In fact, it originates from the personal experience of Benjamin Franklin, who is known as an American legend. To change many of his own bad habits, he once made a firm decision and set for himself 13 habits, including daily words and actions, and adhered to these habits every day, every minute. Life becomes better when we slow cook even the smallest of tasks, and then time allows them to ferment. True self-discipline is not about performing earth-shattering habits, but about persisting every day. These are tips that will help you become a better version of yourself and create a perfect life as you envision it. Just regularly apply this list and you will see your life gradually shift towards brighter and more positive directions. Thirty Stoic Principles for Immediate Life Transformation 1. Always Give 100% In every aspect of life, be it your career, personal pursuits, or daily interactions, embrace the commitment to give your absolute best. Consider this moment. You might be feeling bogged down in a job that doesn't spark passion, or perhaps mundane tasks from your boss have left you disillusioned. Questioning your ability to grow and thrive. It's a common scenario, isn't it? The lack of motivation can be stifling. But hold on to this vital piece of wisdom. You will never get to do the things you like until you act as if you love what you are currently doing. This quote isn't just about pretending. It's about wholeheartedly immersing yourself in the tasks at hand, thereby transforming them. When you invest your spirit into your endeavors, not only do you stand out to those around you, your superiors, peers, and subordinates, but you also begin to view your own efforts with pride. Isn't there a unique satisfaction when the results exceed your expectations? Now let's consider a modern anecdote that resonates with this principle. Imagine a young graphic designer stuck updating old website designs, dreaming of creating bold, innovative campaigns. Instead of succumbing to dissatisfaction, she decides to infuse creativity into her current assignments, redesigning the websites with such flair and function that they capture the attention of her company's top executives. Soon she's leading major projects, her originality recognized and rewarded. Her story exemplifies how giving your best, even in less than ideal circumstances, can propel you into opportunities that align more closely with your passions. What can you do today to elevate your current responsibilities? How might you transform mundane tasks into stepping stones towards your larger goals? Reflect on these questions as you consider your own path to excellence. Remember that striving to excel can set you apart as an exceptional individual. People are naturally drawn to those who not only meet, but exceed expectations. By committing to give your all, you not only enhance your current role, but also lay the groundwork for future opportunities that may better align with your aspirations. Let this message resonate with you. Give 100% to whatever you find yourself doing. It's through these committed efforts that we often find the most rewarding breakthroughs and personal transformations. Embrace this as a fundamental approach to life and watch how it transforms your world. 2. Forgive and let go. In the tapestry of life, each of us carries a metaphorical backpack. Imagine this backpack being filled not with essentials for our journey, but with heavy, useless stones of grudges and resentment. These burdens do not just add weight. They skew our perspective with a lens of sadness and frustration, clouding our worldview and hindering our forward march. Seneca once wisely remarked, The man who has anticipated the coming of troubles takes away their power when they arrive. This speaks directly to our ability to control not the external events of our lives, but our reactions to them. Forgiving those who have wronged us is not about condoning their actions, but rather about setting ourselves free from the chains of perpetual hurt. It is important to recognize that holding on to grudges not only keeps us mired in negativity but also corrodes valuable relationships that enrich our lives. Understanding that the person who caused pain may not deserve your forgiveness but you deserve peace is the first step toward achieving mental freedom. 
This concept of forgiveness and release is particularly relevant in today's fast-paced, often impersonal world, where misunderstandings and conflicts are frequent. In such a landscape, clinging to past grievances can significantly detract from one's quality of life, fostering unnecessary stress and emotional turmoil. By choosing to let go, we reclaim our energy and focus it on constructive pursuits that uplift and support our well-being and the well-being of those around us. Moreover, the act of letting go is not a one-time gesture but a daily practice, akin to removing stones from our backpack one by one, lightening our load and easing our journey. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, aptly noted, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Embracing this principle encourages us to look inward for serenity and outward with compassion, enhancing our resilience in the face of life's challenges. In conclusion, to embrace the Stoic principle of forgiveness is to allow ourselves a life less burdened by the weights of the past. It is a choice to enhance our emotional and mental well-being by focusing on the present and the future, rather than being anchored to what cannot be changed. As you walk the path of life, let each step be lighter and more focused, guided by the wisdom of letting go, and watch as your path clears and your spirit lifts, ready to face whatever may come with clarity and strength. This transformative approach not only enriches your life, but also serves as a powerful example to others, promoting a more forgiving, forward-moving society. 3. Read Why you might ask should you dedicate your time to reading? The answer is beautifully simple yet profoundly impactful. Reading is the ultimate shortcut to personal growth and enlightenment. Through the pages of books you gain direct access to the greatest minds and the most transformative ideas in history. The books you choose to read today will shape your life in the next five years. As the renowned Jim Rohn once said, your life in five years will be determined by the quality of books you read today. Imagine unlocking the mysteries of the universe through social science books or enriching your spirit with classic literature and in-depth history texts. Picture how reading about psychology and philosophy could bring you peace and deeper insight, or how technical books might enhance your skills and optimize every aspect of your life. The breadth and depth of knowledge available to you are boundless. Now, consider integrating reading into your daily routine. Whether it's during your morning commute or just before you turn in for the night, committing just 30 minutes a day to this practice can spark significant change. If you're new to this habit, start with something light, perhaps novels or prose, that can smoothly transition you into more complex topics like politics, history, or philosophy. I encourage you to ponder this. What changes could occur if reading became as habitual as your morning cup of coffee? As you reflect, remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who advised, We should hunt out the helpful pieces of teaching and the spirited and noble-minded sayings which are capable of immediate practical application, not far-far-fetched or archaic expressions or extravagant metaphors and figures of speech, and learn them so well that words become works. As reading becomes a part of your life's fabric, watch as the pages turn not just in your books, but in your life's journey. Witness the transformation within yourself and the world around you. How will you allow the stories of yesterday to reshape the narrative of your tomorrow? Embrace this journey, and let's explore together how the timeless practice of reading can illuminate paths not only to knowledge, but to a stoic, resilient spirit. Thank you for joining me today on Stoic in Your Life. Together, let's continue to unravel the profound lessons that Stoicism offers, applying them to the myriad scenarios we encounter daily. What will your next page reveal? 4. Learn and Grow In your journey through life, the mantra, You can never learn enough, resonates profoundly, reminding us that growth is a perpetual endeavor. Imagine this. The more you invest in yourself, enhancing your abilities and expanding your knowledge, the richer and more fulfilling your life becomes. This principle is not just about acquiring information. It's about transforming that information into wisdom and applying it to improve your everyday life. Consider the realm of professional skills, 
Perhaps you've admired an influencer or expert who has spent years honing their craft. What sets them apart is not merely their talent, but their dedication to continuous learning and improvement. By nurturing your passion and diligently practicing your skills daily, you are on the path to becoming a master in your chosen field. This journey of mastery is not swift. It is one of persistence, resilience, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Beyond the professional sphere, developing life skills is equally crucial. While some may believe that abilities like leadership, creativity, or problem-solving are gifts bestowed at birth, Stoicism teaches us that these are, in fact, skills that anyone can cultivate. Engaging in activities that challenge your problem-solving capabilities or stepping up to lead a community project can dramatically boost these skills. Every challenge you face and every interaction you have is an opportunity to practice and refine these abilities, which are essential for both personal and professional success. Now, let me share a story that illustrates these principles in action. Imagine Sarah, a young graphic designer passionate about digital art but struggling to make her mark professionally. By committing to daily practice and seeking feedback, she not only improved her artistic skills, but also learned how to effectively communicate her ideas and lead projects. Her commitment to growth led to her leading a major campaign for an environmental NGO, blending her creative talents with her newly developed leadership skills. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of persistence and the importance of embracing every learning opportunity that comes your way. So ask yourself, what skills have you been meaning to improve and what are you doing each day to advance them? Remember, the journey of learning and growth is infinite and every step you take builds a bridge to a more enlightened self. In conclusion, adopting a stoic approach to learning, seeing every experience as an opportunity to grow, can profoundly transform your life. It empowers you to not just react to life's challenges but to anticipate and prepare for them equipping you with the resilience to handle anything life throws your way. Remember, each skill you develop not only enhances your professional life, but enriches your personal life as well, making you a more competent, creative, and compassionate individual. Keep learning, keep growing, and watch as your efforts reshape your world. Sarsunas may we even stay away from credit. In the pursuit of personal transformation through Stoic wisdom, one principle stands out with practical immediacy. Save and stay away from credit. Understanding the mechanics of financial management can significantly alter your life's trajectory, especially as you navigate through the complexities of modern economics. Saving embodies the stoic virtue of prudence. By strategically setting aside funds, whether through traditional savings accounts, investments in foreign currency or other vehicles, you harness the power of compounding to work in your favor. Over time, these decisions build a foundation of financial security and independence, fostering peace of mind and freeing you to focus on more fulfilling pursuits. Conversely, the lure of credit, while initially appearing as a quick pathway to obtaining desires, often spirals into a trap of compounding debt. The Stoics warn against allowing desire to dictate actions, advocating instead for self-control and foresight. As Seneca once advised, if you would escape your troubles, you need not another place but another personality. This insight is particularly relevant when considering the use of credit. It is not merely the financial cost that is steep, but the psychological burden of debt that can weigh heavily, diminishing one's quality of life and clouding judgment. Moreover, in today's fast-paced consumer culture, the temptation to live beyond one's means is greater than ever. Advertisements and societal pressures continuously push the narrative of immediate gratification, which is antithetical to Stoic teachings. Here, the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius becomes particularly poignant. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This perspective encourages a shift from consumption-driven satisfaction to finding contentment in simplicity and self-sufficiency. To weave these principles into the fabric of daily life, consider setting clear financial goals, monitoring spending habits, 
and educating oneself about financial planning. These actions not only align with Stoic values, but also empower you to take control of your financial future, avoiding the pitfalls of debt and the anxiety it brings. By embracing these Stoic practices, you prepare yourself not only to face the economic challenges of the modern world, but to transcend them. Cultivating a life of virtue and resilience that resonates deeply with the age-old wisdom of Stoicism. Through disciplined saving and a cautious approach to credit, you build not just wealth but also the character and inner tranquility that come from living a life aligned with Stoic principles. 6. Change your mindset, change your life. Many of us harbor a silent belief that the successes enjoyed by others are unattainable for us due to our unique circumstances. It's a common misconception that the barriers we perceive are often insurmountable. Yet in reality, it's not so much about the circumstances we find ourselves in, but rather how we perceive and react to them. This brings us to the concept of the snapback effect. Picture this. You achieve a new level of income, enter a fresh relationship, or move into a different environment. Despite these changes, there's a tendency to revert to old habits and ways of thinking. This phenomenon occurs because we subconsciously project our self-image and beliefs about what we truly deserve onto our new circumstances. As a result, without realizing it, we often pull ourselves back to familiar terrains, aligning our reality with our deep-seated perceptions of the world. Why is this significant? Because it underscores a profound truth that echoes through the corridors of Stoic philosophy. Our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality, not merely our external conditions. Epictetus, a sage of Stoicism, once said, Men are disturbed not by things but by the view which they take of them. This statement invites us to reflect on the power of perspective. By shifting our mindset, we unlock the potential to not only see, but also create a different outcome for ourselves. The question then arises, how can we transcend this snapback effect? The answer lies in cultivating a new self-image that aligns with the life you aspire to live. Imagine the person you want to become. Think about how they would act, think and feel. By embodying this new identity, you begin to break the chains of old patterns and pave the way for genuine transformation. But how can you start this transformation today? Begin by challenging your existing beliefs. Ask yourself, what limiting beliefs do I hold about myself that could be holding me back from my ideal life? Engage with this question deeply. Discuss it with friends. Ponder it in your quiet moments and feel free to share your reflections in the comments below. Changing your mindset isn't just about positive thinking. It's about reconstructing your self-perception to foster a life that reflects your true worth and capabilities. Trust in yourself. Believe in your potential. And remember that the journey of transformation is both profound and rewarding. Today we explored just one of the 25 principles that can dramatically transform your life. Stay tuned for more episodes where we'll continue to unravel these transformative Stoic teachings. Together, we can forge a path that not only enlightens but also empowers us in the modern hustle. As we wrap up, consider this. What steps will you take today to initiate the change in mindset that will transform your life? Engage with this thought and let it guide you toward your next steps on this Stoic journey. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, in the words of Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Let's cultivate thoughts that lead to happiness and transformation. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom and fostering resilience. 7. Find a mentor and do what they do. In the transformative journey of life, Finding a mentor can often be a pivotal step toward achieving greatness. Think about it. How often have we heard, the path to success is not trodden by the lazy? What lies on this path? It's the footsteps of those who have succeeded before us. Emulating their actions offers us a blueprint to potentially replicate their success. Choosing the right mentor involves careful consideration. It's essential to align with someone whose achievements and methods resonate with your personal, and professional aspirations. This doesn't mean you need direct access to them. In today's world, if face-to-face -face interaction is out of reach, 
dive into the wealth of knowledge available through books or digital content that these thought leaders might offer. Such resources can provide profound insights into the strategies that propelled them to success. Moreover, for those who can afford it, investing in a life coach has become increasingly popular. A life coach can offer tailored advice and accountability, pushing you towards personal and professional milestones in a structured manner. But remember, the essence of mentorship lies not in the mere act of following, but in understanding the principles behind the actions of those you admire. Let's consider a modern scenario. Imagine a young entrepreneur inspired by a tech mogul. Unable to meet this idol, they attend webinars the mogul speaks at, consumes every interview they've given, and applies these lessons to their startup. Over time, their understanding of business deepens, reflecting the mogul's influence not just in knowledge but in practice. How, then, do you determine if someone is the right mentor for you? Could you think of someone in your life right now who embodies the success you aspire to achieve? Reflecting on this can be the first step towards not just admiration, but action. As we close, remember that mentorship is not about imitation for the sake of imitation. It's about understanding, absorbing, and applying the wisdom of those who have paved the way. By doing so, you not only draw closer to your goals, but perhaps, one day, also become a beacon for others striving on their paths to success. This ripple effect of inspiration and practical guidance is the true power of a well-chosen mentor. Engage with these principles and watch as they transform your life and the lives of those around you. 8. Treat others the way you want to be treated. The Stoic principle of treating others as you wish to be treated resonates profoundly with Marcus Aurelius's counsel. What you do not wish to be done to you, do not do to others. This maxim, simple yet powerful, underpins a transformative approach to our daily interactions. It's a common oversight, though scarcely acknowledged, that deep down each of us yearns to feel valued and unique. When we consciously choose to treat others with the special attention and kindness that we crave, we invite openness and warmth into our relationships. This reciprocal appreciation not only enriches our social connections, but also mirrors the care we desire for ourselves. Understanding our own needs and desires teaches us empathy. By reflecting on how we wish to be treated, whether it's desiring attention when we speak or yearning for support during challenging times, we can better appreciate others' needs. For instance, if you value being listened to, make a concerted effort to actively listen to others. Similarly, if your quest is for happiness, endeavor to contribute positively to the happiness of those around you. This approach not only cultivates stronger bonds, but also builds a community of mutual respect and understanding. Incorporating this principle into modern life, consider the workplace, a typical arena of competitive spirit and individual agendas. Imagine transforming this space by consistently applying the stoic practice of empathy and respect. Such a shift could not only improve teamwork and morale, but also pave the way for a more collaborative and supportive environment. The simple act of listening can change the dynamics of a conversation, making colleagues feel valued and heard, which in turn fosters a more cooperative and productive workplace. Lucius Aeneas Seneca once said, Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Every interaction, whether with a friend, a family member or a stranger, is an opportunity to practice this stoic principle. By treating others with the kindness and respect we seek, we not only better their lives, but also enrich our own. This practice of mutual respect and care forms the bedrock of not only personal contentment, but also societal harmony. As you walk the path of life, let the stoic philosophy of treating others as you wish to be treated illuminate your way. This principle, when practiced diligently, can transform your personal and professional relationships, creating a ripple effect of positivity and respect that extends far beyond individual interactions. Embrace this timeless wisdom and watch as your world transforms, one kind act at a time. 9. Breaking free from your shell Many of us craft a personal shell, a comfort zone, 
where we retreat, avoiding risks and shying away from challenges. It's a natural human tendency to be cautious. But have you ever pondered the exhilaration and growth that stepping out of your shell could bring? Imagine transforming into someone confident, strong, and engaged with the world around you. It's not just about hard work and achieving success. It's about living a life that's vibrant and full. Most of us deceive ourselves with the promise of a tomorrow to complete today's tasks. This procrastination not only delays our progress, but often makes the task seem more daunting than it is. We choose the path of least resistance sticking to routines that are comfortable yet unfulfilling. But what if you challenged this status quo? What if today you decided to step out and seize the day? Consider the words of Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Outliers, the Story of Success. Outliers are those who have been given opportunities and who have had the strength and presence of mind to seize them. Outliers recognize the brevity of life and strive to make the most of every moment. They lead lives that many of us can only dream of, lives filled with achievements and unique experiences. Now let's connect this to Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful idea suggests that the very barriers we face could be the path to our success. When you confront what frightens you, the barriers start to crumble and new possibilities emerge. So how can you start breaking free from your shell? Begin by identifying what holds you back. Is it fear of failure, concern about others' opinions, or perhaps a lack of trust in your abilities? Once identified, challenge these barriers with small, manageable actions that align with your core values. Stoic principles encourage us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. A vital step in overcoming these personal limitations. What are you waiting for? What small step will you take today to push the boundaries of your comfort zone? Will you initiate a challenging conversation, tackle a postponed project, or perhaps share a new idea with peers? Remember, being an outlier isn't just about seizing opportunities, it's about creating them. Every step outside your comfort zone is a step towards a more fulfilling and extraordinary life. Let's embrace the stoic way, where challenges are not obstacles, but opportunities for growth. As we continue on this journey of wisdom and transformation, reflect on this. What aspect of your life could benefit most from embracing the stoic principle of turning obstacles into opportunities? Engage with us in the comments below or on our social media channels. Share your thoughts and experiences as we explore these transformative stoic principles together, paving the way for a life rich in growth and satisfaction. Let's break free from our shells and truly begin to live extraordinary lives. 10. Mastering Your Thoughts Mastering your thoughts is an art that can redefine the trajectory of your life. If you've ever found yourself falling short of achieving your goals, it might be because you haven't gained full control over your thoughts. Recognize this. Your thoughts are a powerful source of energy. The narratives you tell yourself and what you believe about your capabilities profoundly impact your ability to embrace change or cultivate new ideas. Consider the insight from psychologist Carol Dweck who spent over 20 years researching mindset. The mindset you adopt for yourself profoundly affects the way you lead your life. It can determine whether you become the person you want to be and whether you accomplish the things you value. This statement underscores the monumental influence that thought mastery can have on your life's path. When you begin to steer your thoughts deliberately, you unlock a new level of decision-making. You're able to see the positive possibilities in your surroundings, commit to your goals with renewed vigor, and ultimately achieve them. Imagine standing on the brink of the life you've always wanted. It's right there within your grasp. All you need to do is command your dreams, goals, and visions with authority. Let's take a moment to reflect on a modern scenario. You're in a high-stakes meeting poised to present a project you've been spearheading for months. As the moment approaches, your mind starts to cloud with doubts. But instead of succumbing to these undermining thoughts, you recall the principle of thought mastery. You remind yourself of your preparation, your skills, and your passion. You transform your nervous energy into exhilarating anticipation. As you begin to speak, 
Your confidence rebuilds, your thoughts clear, and the room responds to your conviction and clarity. This is thought mastery in action. It's not just about overcoming self-doubt. It's about harnessing the power of positive thinking to impact your reality. How often do you monitor your thought patterns? Do you actively guide them towards positivity and productivity? Or do you let them wander unchecked? Remember, the quality of your thoughts directly influences the quality of your life. In conclusion, mastering your thoughts isn't just a technique. It's a lifestyle. It empowers you to live deliberately, to choose optimism over pessimism, and to achieve the greatness you are capable of. Each thought is a brushstroke in the masterpiece of your life. What picture are you painting? As we navigate through this journey together, let this principle remind us that by mastering our thoughts, we master our destinies. Always aim to cultivate a mindset that fosters growth, resilience, and a deep-seated belief in your own potential. This is the essence of living a stoically inspired life, one thoughtful step at a time. 11. Start with small changes. In the pursuit of personal transformation, the wisdom of Stoicism offers a potent catalyst. Stoic principles articulated by philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca guide us to embrace resilience and emotional strength. These teachings are particularly relevant today as we navigate the complexities of modern life. Our journey toward self-improvement, akin to a roller coaster, demands patience and small, consistent steps. Remember Marcus Aurelius's counsel. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This sentiment underscores the power of starting with small changes. For men aged 30 to 65, redefining life's trajectory often involves pivotal, yet manageable shifts rather than grand, sweeping reforms. The key lies in the cumulative power of minor modifications. By altering just a small aspect of your daily routine, be it waking up a bit earlier, reading a few pages of a philosophical text, or simply choosing to walk instead of drive for short distances, you lay the foundation for significant long-term transformation. The principle of focusing on improving just 1% daily may seem trivial, yet these minute enhancements compound into profound changes. This incremental approach not only fosters sustainable progress, but also cultivates the perseverance needed to maintain and build on your gains. Moreover, the stoic practice of reflection enhances this process. Consider keeping a journal to track these small changes and reflect on your daily improvements. This method, inspired by the stoic exercise of evening reflection, allows you to observe your progress objectively and adjust your course as needed. As the art of manliness suggests, instead of trying to make all changes drastically in a short period, just make small improvements each day. This strategy ensures that the transformations you seek in your character and life are achievable and grounded in a continuous pursuit of excellence. In connecting these stoic ideals to the modern world, it becomes evident that the challenges we face today are not so different from those encountered by the ancients. Our external circumstances may have changed, but the internal quest for wisdom, virtue, and self-control remains the same. By applying these timeless principles to contemporary dilemmas, you can navigate life's vicissitudes with grace and fortitude. This approach not only improves individual lives, but also strengthens the fabric of communities by fostering leaders who are both thoughtful and resilient. In conclusion, embarking on the path of Stoic-inspired transformation involves understanding that real change is a product of persistent, incremental improvements. Each small step forward is a building block in the construction of a robust and serene character, equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. Let this journey of wisdom be your guide and let each modest gain inspire you to continual growth and redefinition of what it means to live a fulfilled and stoic life. 12. Making your mornings easier. Have you ever spent your morning scrambling to get ready, feeling rushed and unsettled? It's a common struggle. But what if I told you that the ancient Stoics and modern thinkers alike have pondered this very issue? and their insights could revolutionize your mornings, thereby transforming your entire life. Let's start with a simple yet powerful routine proposed by Hal Elrod in his famous book, 
The Miracle Morning Elrod suggests that the way you wake up each day and your morning routine significantly affects your levels of success in every area of your life. Successful mornings, focused and effective, lead to successful, focused, and effective days, which inevitably lead to a successful life. Conversely, he warns, mediocre mornings foster mediocre days and, consequently, a mediocre life. Now, Stoicism teaches us about the importance of discipline and intentionality in all aspects of life. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once noted, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Imagine implementing a ritual the night before that sets the stage for such a morning. Spend just 20 minutes before bed planning the next day's tasks, preparing your morning coffee, and choosing your outfit. This method isn't just about preparation. It's about cultivating a mindset of readiness and calm. It's about greeting the new day without haste and embracing each task with focus. Why not try this tonight? Before you go to sleep, take a moment to reflect on what lies ahead and prepare accordingly. Visualize your morning flowing smoothly, your actions purposeful, and your mind clear. Ask yourself, how might my life change if I could start every day this focused and calm? By integrating these principles into your daily routine, you align closer to the Stoic ideal of living a deliberate and thoughtful life. Remember, as Epictetus said, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This proactive approach to mornings isn't just about avoiding stress, it's a fundamental shift in how you approach each day, aiming not just for success in tasks, but for excellence in character. So, as you consider this simple yet profound change, reflect on its potential impact. How will your life transform if every day starts with purpose and peace? Engage with us in the comments or on our social channels and share your thoughts and experiences. Together, in this community, we journey toward wisdom, one morning at a time. 13. Challenging Your Limits in our journey through life, understanding our actions can sharply enhance our focus and hone our skills. Let's start by setting a personal goal. Imagine this goal as a frontier, not just to reach, but to bravely push beyond. What limits are holding you back? Identifying these is the first step toward transcending the ordinary and embracing a life of courage and fulfillment. Overcoming fear isn't just about braving the unknown. It's about enabling a richer, more vibrant life. Often, we settle into the comfort of average, but the true thrill comes from living courageously and chasing what genuinely matters to us. Remember, the most profound competition you will ever face is the battle against your own limitations. It's not about surpassing others, but about surpassing your previous self. Resist the urge to pull others down to your level. Instead, Lift yourself toward your higher potential. Consider the resolve of Evita Perón, the former first lady of Argentina, who famously expressed, My biggest fear in life is being forgotten. She encapsulates a universal truth. Nobody dreams of a mundane, dependent life that leaves no mark. Like her, should we not also strive to leave a memorable imprint on the world? But here's a modern twist to consider. Imagine a young entrepreneur, full of vibrant ideas but paralyzed by the fear of failure. Each day, they face a choice, retreat to safety, or step into the arena of their dreams. One day, they decide to push through the fear, launching a venture that could either falter or flourish. By choosing action over hesitation, they not only conquer their personal fears but also begin to sculpt a life of impact and inspiration. Are you ready to reinvent yourself and discover the best version of you? Life, after all, is fleeting. Each moment is an opportunity to rewrite your story. Are you prepared to seize that chance? As we wrap up, remember that real transformation requires continuous effort. It's not achieved through scattered attempts or half-hearted ventures, but through persistent pursuit and completion of your goals. Challenge yourself to not only dream, but also to act. Ask yourself, what limits am I willing to push today to create a life I will remember tomorrow? Let this be the lesson we take forward.
The courage to transform our lives is in our hands, and every step we take away from fear is a step towards a legacy. We are proud to leave behind. 14. Be 10 minutes early. In the race against time, the wise person anticipates the start. This modern spin on a timeless stoic concept captures the profound advantage of being prepared. When Barack Obama was queried on the greatest edge he had during his presidency, his reply was succinct yet potent. Always be 10 minutes early. This principle might seem simple, yet its implications are profound, stretching far beyond the confines of punctuality to embody the essence of foresight, a virtue highly prized in Stoic philosophy. Life is replete with unexpected hurdles, traffic lights that seem perpetually red when you're running late, unforeseen incidents that throw off an entire day's schedule, or crucial meetings that could dictate the trajectory of your career. Embracing the habit of arriving 10 minutes early transforms these potential setbacks into manageable blips on your radar, preventing them from escalating into crises. Such preparedness is akin to building a fortress around your day, safeguarding your peace of mind against the sieges of daily unpredictability. Imagine starting each day with a cushion of time that empowers you to face the world without the panic of tardiness or the stress of unforeseen delays. This cushion does more than just ease your mind. It sets a tone of calm and control that permeates your entire day. By scheduling tasks 10 minutes ahead, you not only accelerate your response times but also enter a state of tranquility, knowing that you are ahead of the game. The benefits of this simple adjustment are manifold. Arriving early for meetings, for instance, not only polishes your professional image but also opens doors to unexpected opportunities. Perhaps those spare moments could lead to a conversation with a future business partner or spark an idea that propels your career forward. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. In today's high-speed world, where each second is precious and the pace of life seems ever accelerating, the principles you adopt regarding time management can indeed become your strategic advantage. The discipline of being 10 minutes early is not merely about time. It's about cultivating foresight, mastering your schedule, and ultimately wielding control over the chaos of everyday life. As we navigate this tumultuous era, let us not underestimate the power of preparation. Remember, being 10 minutes early may seem trivial, but in the grand chessboard of life, it is a move that can safeguard your kingship. Let this principle be your beacon guiding you through the fog of daily challenges with the clarity and confidence of a seasoned Stoic. 15. Think before you speak. In our bustling lives, it's easy to overlook the impact our words have on others. Have you ever found yourself in the midst of an argument only to realize it could have been avoided? Or perhaps you've unintentionally hurt someone close to you with a careless remark. It's clear that while our intentions may be pure, the execution can sometimes fall short. This brings to mind the wisdom of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who once said, first learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. Imagine the last time you wanted to judge someone or argue a point. Did you pause to consider the truth of your thoughts or whether there was a kinder, more effective way to express them? Taking even just a moment to think before speaking can prevent misunderstandings and promote harmony. Reflect on this. When was the last time a moment of silence brought peace instead of conflict? Now consider the broader implications of this principle in your life. How would your relationships change if you always paused to reflect before speaking? How might your workplace dynamic shift if everyone communicated with intention and clarity? Engaging in thoughtful speech is more than a practice. It's a gift of kindness to yourself and those around you. So I invite you to ponder this. What changes might you see in your life if you applied this stoic principle today? What misunderstandings could be prevented and what harmony could be fostered simply by thinking before speaking? As we continue this journey together, let's embrace the power of our words and the profound impact they can have. This is not just about avoiding harm. It's about actively creating a more thoughtful and compassionate world. 
Join me as we explore more transformative principles and apply the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to our modern lives. 16. Meditation Meditation, often envisioned as the domain of serene masters or distinguished monks in tranquil settings, is actually a powerful tool that you and I can incorporate into our everyday lives. In the whirlwind of today's world where stress and anxiety are commonplace, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the daily grind, be it exhaustive workloads, endless household chores, or the simple act of managing a family where everyone seems to have their own agenda. However, what often heightens our sense of overwhelm isn't the sheer volume of these tasks, but rather our perception of them. The next time you find yourself flustered or upset, what if you took a moment to engage in meditation? Imagine closing your eyes, shedding the barrage of external pressures and simply tuning into the rhythm of your breath. This simple practice can transform your mindset. With a calm mind, clarity emerges, and situations that once seemed insurmountable become manageable. Just a few minutes of meditation each day can significantly diminish your worries, making the insurmountable seem surmountable. Picture Sarah, a project manager juggling tight deadlines and a demanding team. Every day felt like a battle until she began starting her mornings with 10 minutes of meditation. This small change didn't just ease her anxiety. It also sharpened her focus, allowing her to navigate her responsibilities with a renewed sense of purpose and efficiency. Sarah's story is a testament to how modern Stoics can harness the power of meditation to enhance their lives. Now ask yourself, what aspects of your life could benefit from greater calm and clarity? Could meditation help you face these challenges with a stoic resolve? As you ponder these questions, remember the profound simplicity of meditation and its transformative power. It's a practice that doesn't just alleviate immediate stress but also cultivates a sustained resilience enabling you to approach life's hurdles with a composed and clear mind by incorporating meditation into your daily routine. You embrace a stoic principle that prepares you to meet the ebbs and flows of life, not just with endurance, but with grace and poise. Through this practice, you are equipped to handle not only the challenges of today, but also the uncertainties of tomorrow. In embracing meditation, you gain more than just a momentary pause in your day. You gain a perspective that can alter the course of your life. So, let this be your call to action. Explore meditation as a daily practice. As you do, watch how your life transforms, finding ease where there once was tension and clarity where there was once chaos. Let this stoic practice enlighten your path and may you carry forward the serenity and strength it bestows. 17. The Power of Reaction Stoicism, an ancient yet enduring philosophy, teaches us a fundamental lesson about the immense power residing in our reactions. Epictetus, a revered Stoic philosopher, eloquently captured this principle when he said, It's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. Consider the unavoidable. Traffic delays, inclement weather, or unwelcome remarks all circumstances beyond our control. Despite our desires, we cannot alter these events. Yet what remains firmly in our grasp is the choice of how we respond to them. This concept isn't solely rooted in philosophy but is also etched in modern psychological thought. Carl Jung, a pioneer in psychology, once declared I'm, I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. This statement resonates deeply with the Stoic mindset emphasizing our exclusive dominion over our reactions, thoughts, and deeds. Imagine you're caught in a traffic jam, running late for a crucial appointment. You could choose to seethe with frustration, honking your horn in a futile bid to clear the way, or you could alternatively take a deep breath, accept the reality of the moment, and perhaps listen to a podcast, an audiobook, or simply some calming music. The traffic situation remains unchanged, but your approach to it transforms entirely. This shift not only reduces your stress levels, but also potentially brightens your entire day. The Stoic teaching of focusing on what we can control stretches well beyond traffic jams or adverse weather. 
It's applicable to our personal ambitions, our interactions with others, and our handling of life's hurdles. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic luminary, reinforces this message, stating, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Therefore, the next time you find yourself agitated by something outside your influence, pause and recall the wisdom of Stoicism. Question whether the issue is within your control. If it falls outside, let it pass. Center your energy on your reactions, your mindset, and your actions. This minor adjustment in perspective can profoundly affect your stress levels and overall well-being. Adopting this practice might not be effortless every day, but its value in cultivating tranquility and resilience is immense. Remember, the journey toward stoic mastery is about continuous progress, not instantaneous perfection. This stoic approach to life doesn't merely help us manage daily irritations. It also equips us to navigate the broader challenges of life with grace and poise. In today's fast-paced world, where stress and anxiety are prevalent, applying these age-old principles can offer us a sanctuary of calm and strength. As we incorporate these teachings into our lives, we not only enhance our personal well-being, but also contribute to a more harmonious society. Remember. In the eloquent words of Viktor Frankl, another profound thinker influenced by Stoic ideals, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. This transformation within ourselves, guided by Stoic wisdom, is truly the most powerful change we can achieve. 18. Embracing Obstacles Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the hurdles life throws at you? It's a common feeling, but Stoicism offers a transformative perspective. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus teach us not merely to survive challenges, but to thrive because of them. They urge us to see obstacles not as barriers but as opportunities. Imagine facing a difficult situation instead of asking, Why me? What if you asked, What can I learn from this? This shift in perspective is not just philosophical, it's practical and life-changing. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who practiced Stoicism in his personal life, eloquently wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This profound insight tells us that every obstacle, no matter how daunting, offers a lesson to be learned, a skill to be honed. It's about finding that silver lining and using it to propel our personal growth. This idea isn't confined to ancient texts. Modern psychology echoes this sentiment. Carl Jung, a renowned psychologist, once said, What you resist persists. By resisting obstacles, we empower them, letting them dominate our lives. However, by accepting and learning from them, we can surmount them and emerge stronger. Suppose you're facing repeated rejections from job applications, it's natural to spiral into self-pity and doubt. But what if you viewed each rejection as valuable feedback? Perhaps there's a skill you need to enhance or a new approach to job searching that you haven't considered. This pivot in perspective could transform a discouraging experience into a constructive sequence of professional development. Consider personal conflicts which are often sources of stress and discomfort yet they also provide opportunities to practice patience, empathy, and effective communication. Each disagreement is a chance to see things from a different perspective and improve our conflict resolution skills. The core of adopting this stoic principle lies in the questions we pose to ourselves. What can this situation teach me? By shifting from being passive victims of circumstances to active learners and problem solvers, we tackle obstacles with a mindset geared toward growth. Epictetus, another pillar of Stoic philosophy, once stated, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This encapsulates the essence of Stoicism. It challenges us to look beyond the immediate discomfort an obstacle presents and discover the potential it holds for personal and spiritual growth. So. Next time you encounter a challenge, whether big or small, take a moment to pause and reframe the situation. 
Ask yourself, what can I learn from this and how can this experience make me stronger and wiser? Embracing this mindset doesn't simplify the complexities of life's challenges, but it does equip us with a more resilient and insightful approach to overcoming them. I mean, remember, obstacles are not merely hurdles to overcome. They are invaluable opportunities to grow. By adopting this stoic mindset, we can navigate life's highs and lows with greater grace, resilience, and wisdom. Now I turn to you, our listeners. What obstacles have you transformed into opportunities recently? How has this shift in perspective changed your approach to challenges? Share your experiences and let's discuss how these stoic principles can be applied in our everyday lives to foster not just survival, but a profound and meaningful transformation. 19. Living in the present. Living in the present moment means fully embracing and experiencing where you are right now not letting your mind drift to tomorrow's worries or yesterday's regrets. Recognizing that life, with its beautiful complexities, challenges, and unexpected joys, unfolds in the immediate. This principle is a foundational aspect of Stoic philosophy, as emphasized by luminaries like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, and has been reiterated by modern psychologists and thinkers. Marcus Aurelius advised, Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. He knew the transformative power of the present, how it anchors us, clears our minds of distractions, and opens our eyes to the fullness of life as it happens. Yet many of us struggle to remain in the present. Our minds are often overrun with thoughts, anxieties about what's next, or ruminations on past events. This mental clutter distracts us from the potential and beauty of now. Carl Jung captured the essence of this idea when he said, The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. Each moment holds infinite value. And by focusing on the now, we give meaning to the myriad small, everyday experiences that enrich our lives immeasurably. Aristotle also underscored the importance of present awareness to achieve eudaimonia, a state of being happy, healthy, and prosperous. By concentrating on the now, we live a life of virtue and make the most of our human experiences. So how can we better inhabit the present? It begins with mindfulness, the art of observing the current moment without judgment. Whether it's savoring each bite of a meal, feeling the earth beneath your feet as you walk, or listening intently to someone without thinking about your next response, these acts of mindfulness draw us back into the present enhancing our life's richness and meaning. Seneca wisely noted, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. He recognized that worries about future uncertainties or regrets over the past only serve to diminish our current happiness. Living in the moment doesn't mean ignoring the future or erasing the past. Rather, it's about striking a balance where we learn from our past and prepare for our future without allowing those considerations to overshadow our current experience. Consider Sarah, a busy executive who realized during a quiet Sunday at home that she couldn't recall any specific enjoyable moments from the past hectic month. This realization prompted her to practice mindfulness daily by consciously tuning into her environment and her interactions. She began to find joy in small things like the warmth of the morning coffee cup or the calmness of her evening walks. These moments, once unnoticed, now form the highlights of her days, illustrating how a shift towards present living can profoundly enrich one's life. So, why not pause right now and take a deep breath? Look around you. This moment is your life happening. Every second is an opportunity to reset and focus anew on the present. Let's embrace it together. Let's cherish the now, for this moment, right here, is where life truly unfolds. What can you notice and appreciate in your surroundings at this moment? This practice is not just about finding peace, it's about empowering ourselves to live fully and joyously, moment by moment. 20. Self-discipline. Self-discipline not as a series of restrictive rules, but as a liberating force empowering you to align your actions with your deepest values and long-term aspirations. It's about making the right choices for yourself, 
not the easy ones that offer immediate gratification. Self-discipline is fundamentally about mastering ourselves, choosing what serves us and steering clear of what doesn't, even when it's challenging. Consider the simple acts of adhering to a workout routine, resisting the urge to make impulsive purchases, or turning off distractions to focus on meaningful projects. While these choices might not provide immediate pleasure, they lay the groundwork for lasting satisfaction and success. Stoic philosophy offers profound insights into the nature of self-discipline. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of Stoic thought and Roman leadership, encapsulated this when he noted, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This statement underscores the essence of self-discipline, controlling our impulses, emotions, and actions amidst the external temptations and distractions that life incessantly throws our way. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, advised steadfastness in the control of desires rather than being dominated by them. He recognized that true freedom is internal, emanating from our ability to govern ourselves and our appetites. Similarly, Aristotle, a giant in the realm of philosophy, posited that excellence and virtue are achieved through habitual practice. By consistently exercising self-discipline, we forge habits that evolve us toward our best selves, transcending mere acts of willpower to embody our values and goals continuously. This perspective is echoed in modern psychological thought as well, where Carl Jung emphasized the importance of integrating various aspects of our personality to achieve wholeness. Such integration necessitates self-discipline. As we navigate conflicting desires and choose paths that foster our overall well being and growth. But how can we actively cultivate self discipline in our daily lives? Begin with manageable steps. Select one area you wish to enhance, be it your diet, exercise regimen, or financial habits. Establish clear, attainable goals and approach them one day at a time. Remember, each choice that aligns with your goal strengthens your self-discipline muscle. Epictetus, a sage in Stoic circles, reminded us, No great thing is created suddenly. Self-discipline is indeed built through small, consistent actions. It's a journey of progress, not perfection, offering daily opportunities to practice self-discipline and gradually move closer to the person we aspire to become. Embarking on this journey of self-discipline is about finding balance between our immediate desires and our overarching ambitions. It involves making difficult choices that may challenge us in the moment, but ultimately lead us toward greater fulfillment, happiness, and peace. Let us commit to this path together, supporting each other in choosing what is right over what is easy. As we traverse this journey, Let's keep in mind that within the realm of self-discipline lies the path to achieving our dreams and living a life filled with purpose and contentment. By embracing these principles, we not only transform our own lives but also inspire those around us to seek their best selves, crafting a narrative of personal achievement and collective uplift that resonates across generations. 21. Emotional Resilience when life sends its challenges, each of us is tested through a spectrum of emotions. Anger, sadness, frustration. These feelings are a natural part of our human experience. However, it's not solely about the emotions themselves, but how we handle them that shapes our lives. Imagine emotional resilience as a superpower, enabling us to traverse life's storms with poise and emerge even stronger. It involves acknowledging our emotions, deeply understanding them, and then consciously taking steps to move forward rather than being swept away by our immediate reactions. The wisdom of Stoic philosophy offers profound insights into mastering our emotional landscapes. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher, once stated, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This statement is at the core of emotional resilience recognizing that while external circumstances are often beyond our control, we can govern our responses to them. Our emotions need not dictate our actions. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, teaches us that life's adversities are tests of our character and resilience. By meeting our emotions with understanding and patience, we mature into wiser, more resilient individuals. 
But how exactly do we cultivate this emotional resilience? It begins with self-awareness. Being mindful of our emotions and reactions helps us better understand ourselves. It's perfectly normal to feel intense emotions. However, instead of yielding to impulsive reactions, we can choose to respond in a manner that aligns with our values and enhances our long-term well-being. Aristotle introduced the concept of the golden mean, the balance between excess and deficiency, which applies aptly to emotional resilience. It's about finding a balanced response to our emotions, neither suppressing them nor allowing them to overpower us. Carl Jung, a pioneer in psychology, emphasized the significance of integrating all aspects of our psyche to achieve wholeness. Part of this integration involves confronting our emotions, understanding them, and learning from them. Now let's consider practical steps to handle intense emotions. When you find yourself overwhelmed by strong feelings first, allow yourself to fully experience these emotions without judgment. Acknowledge and accept them. Then, take a step back to understand what triggered these emotions. Reflecting on these triggers can provide crucial insights into your emotional patterns and help you identify ways to handle similar situations in the future. Epictetus famously said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This principle reminds us that our reactions to our emotions can define our experiences. We have the choice to respond constructively and heal ourselves instead of reacting in ways that may lead to further turmoil. The journey to developing emotional resilience is ongoing. It involves practicing mindfulness, engaging in self-reflection, and cultivating patience. Building a toolkit of coping strategies such as journaling, confiding in trusted friends, or practicing relaxation techniques can also be incredibly beneficial. Above all, it's crucial to treat yourself with kindness and compassion as you navigate your emotions. Emotional resilience isn't about avoiding negative emotions, rather. It's about learning to navigate the waves of these emotions with grace and emerging on the other side as a stronger, more self-aware individual. By developing emotional resilience, we empower ourselves to face life's challenges with courage and composure. As we embrace this journey together, Let's support each other in becoming more emotionally resilient and ultimately leading more fulfilling lives. The Stoic philosophers, including Marcus Aurelius Seneca and Epictetus, didn't use the concept of emotional resilience to instill fear, but rather to inspire a deeper appreciation for every moment. They encouraged us to keep the inevitability of death in mind to live more fully and with gratitude for the present. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, frequently reflected on life's transience, urging us to live true to our values and make the most of our time. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think, he wrote. This isn't a morbid reminder, but a call to action, a cue to focus on what truly matters, to release trivial concerns and to live with purpose and integrity. Seneca highlighted the brevity of life urging us not to squander our time on trivialities, but to strive for a meaningful existence. Being mindful of death, he argued, prompts us to live more wisely and cherish our relationships and experiences. Epictetus emphasized the importance of concentrating on the present and making the best use of our time. By acknowledging our mortality, we're likely to lead more ethical lives and appreciate the beauty and richness of life around us. As you reflect on these teachings, ask yourself, how can I apply the principle of emotional resilience to overcome the challenges I face today? What steps can I take to respond to my emotions in a way that enriches my life and aligns with my core values? 22. Memento Mori Memento Mori, a Latin phrase meaning, remember you must die, often evokes a sense of somber reflection. But have you considered the transformative power it could have on your life if viewed through a different lens? Picture this principle not as a dark cloud looming ominously over heat, but as a liberating call to action, a reminder to seize the day and embrace each moment with vigor and authenticity. Why should the awareness of our mortality scare us? Instead, let it serve as a robust motivator to live with fullness and intention. Think about all those dreams and aspirations you've been shelving for some day. 
Whether it's chasing a long-held passion, reconnecting with old friends, or taking a moment to revel in the small pleasures of daily life, the concept of memento mori nudges us to stop delaying. It urges us to live authentically, speak our truths boldly, love without reservation, and stay fully present in the unfolding of our lives. This stoic reminder also teaches us to value life's fleeting nature, which can profoundly deepen our gratitude for the present. Realizing that our time is not infinite encourages us to cherish our experiences live more consciously and express thanks for the people and moments that bring joy and fulfillment to our existence. Imagine harnessing memento mori not as a source of dread, but as a catalyst for personal growth, gratitude, and a richer appreciation of life. It prompts us to make decisions that reflect our truest selves, treasure our relationships, and enjoy the beauty of now. Remembering that we will eventually pass away compels us to live vigorously in the current moment. In embracing memento mori, we discover not a fear of death, but a celebration of life. Each day presents a new opportunity to make it meaningful, not out of fear of its end, but out of love for the experience itself. How can we live in such a way that, when our time comes, we can look back without regrets, knowing we lived fully, loved deeply, and cherished the incredible journey that is life? The simple yet profound concept shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, becoming a powerful tool in our arsenal, especially during challenging times. So, how will you let Memento Mori transform your life today? What changes will you make to ensure that when you reach life's inevitable end, you can do so filled with joy and free from regret? In adopting this stoic principle, let's not just count our days, but make our days count. Let this be a lesson that enriches your journey, reminding you always to embrace life's richness with open arms and a brave heart. At 23, Gratitude In our journey through the tumultuous waves of life, the ancient Stoics provided us with an essential anchor. Gratitude Marcus Aurelius, a beacon of wisdom, eloquently emphasized the beauty of daily existence with his reminder. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This sentiment encapsulates the core of Stoic gratitude, celebrating the mere act of being, acknowledging the multitude of simple blessings that compose our daily lives. Seneca, another pillar of Stoic thought, challenged us to curb our ceaseless desires. He argued that the pursuit of more is a mirage that distracts from the treasures already within our grasp. By appreciating what we have, we can attain genuine contentment, a state of satisfaction that eludes those forever chasing the next acquisition. Epictetus, renowned for his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, encouraged embracing our current circumstances no matter their nature. He taught that acceptance and appreciation of the now can pave the way to a fulfilling life. This philosophy helps us see the silver lining, even in the darkest of clouds transforming everyday challenges into valuable life lessons. But how does one cultivate such gratitude, especially when faced with adversity? The answer lies in habitual practice. Instituting a daily ritual of reflection, identifying and cherishing three things you're grateful for, can profoundly shift your perspective. This could be as mundane as relishing a morning cup of coffee or as profound as appreciating the stability provided by loved ones. Such practices not only enhance our mood, but also redirect our focus towards positivity, improving our overall life outlook. Gratitude extends beyond self-reflection. It fosters deeper connections with those around us. A simple act of appreciation, such as a heartfelt thank you, can affirm and strengthen bonds, spreading joy and mutual respect. Aristotle underscored this, linking gratitude with virtue and positing it as a cornerstone of eudaimonia, or true happiness. Here, gratitude is not just a private practice, but a communal virtue that enhances the fabric of our interpersonal relationships. Modern psychology echoes these ancient teachings, showing that regular gratitude can decrease anxiety, improve sleep, and foster a more positive mindset. Carl Jung's observation that 
The word happiness would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. Reminds us that gratitude involves embracing the full spectrum of our experiences, recognizing the growth and opportunities each presents. Therefore, let us commit to making gratitude a vital component of our daily routines. By appreciating the small victories and connections and finding contentment in simple pleasures, we nurture a sense of abundance that radiates from within. Remember, it is not merely happiness that generates gratitude, but gratitude that profoundly generates happiness. Let us toast to the understated beauty of gratitude, raising our glasses to the endless opportunities it presents for enriching our lives and the lives of those around us. Cheers to discovering joy and resilience in the face of life's inevitable challenges. 24. Personal Excellence The Stoics taught us that personal excellence or virtue is the ultimate good in life. Think of Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, who famously advised, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This powerful directive calls us to embody the virtues we admire, to live authentically and act according to our highest standards every single day. Seneca, another stoic luminary, emphasized the importance of continuous self-improvement and aligning our lives with nature and reason. He believed that true excellence isn't an external acquisition, but blooms from within and is mirrored in our choices and actions. Meanwhile, Epictetus focused on the importance of personal responsibility in cultivating excellency. He taught that our reactions, emotions, and will are within our control, and mastering them is essential to living a virtuous life. Now, ask yourself, what does focusing on personal excellence mean in your daily life? It begins by setting personal standards that resonate with your values and aspirations independent of societal expectations or comparisons to others. It involves a deep understanding of your strengths and weaknesses and a commitment to constant self-improvement. Personal excellence is also about resilience. As Aristotle put it, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives, choice not chance, determines your destiny. This philosophy teaches us to view challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. Incorporating a growth mindset, a concept embraced by modern psychology, is another aspect of striving for personal excellence. This mindset suggests that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and persistence, encouraging us to embrace challenges, continue in the face of setbacks, and view effort as a pathway to mastery. Living authentically is a critical component of personal excellence. It means being true to our deepest values, making choices that reflect our true selves and taking pride in our life's journey, including both the struggles and triumphs. And let's not forget about the role of gratitude in personal excellence. By appreciating what we have and where we are in our journey, we nurture a positive outlook that bolsters our growth and well-being. So, let's make a commitment today to focus on personal excellence. Set your own standards, embrace your unique path, and take pride in your progress. Remember, it's not about attaining perfection, but about being proud of who you are and how you choose to live. It's about celebrating your efforts, learning from your experiences, and always striving to be the best version of yourself. Together, let's embrace these stoic principles and make personal excellence not just a goal, but a way of life. What steps will you take today to move closer to your ideal of personal excellence? Let's discuss this and more as we continue our journey of wisdom. 25. Authenticity In today's digital age, where social media metrics like likes, follows, and comments often seem to dictate our self-worth, it's all too easy to lose ourselves in the pursuit of external validation. However, let me share with you a liberating truth. Your true worth is not anchored in these fleeting accolades, but in staying true to yourself, embracing your authentic self, and aligning your life with your core values. The Stoics, those venerable philosophers whose teachings remain profoundly relevant, 
consistently emphasize the importance of focusing on what we can control, our actions, our thoughts, our integrity, rather than the unpredictable and often superficial opinions of others. Marcus Aurelius, a pivotal figure in Stoic philosophy, astutely observed, I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinion of himself than on the opinions of others. This poignant reflection lays bare the paradox that traps many of us. We prioritize others' judgments over our self-assessment. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, underscored the significance of living a life that's true to oneself, not one that's molded by others' expectations or approvals. He advocated that true contentment is sourced from within, from a life that's congruent with our principles and values. Similarly, Epictetus taught that fretting over others' opinions is beyond our control and thus unworthy of our energy. He urged us to focus instead on our own actions and on living virtuously, as therein lies our real power. So how can we begin to care less about others' perceptions and more about staying true to our own selves? It starts by recognizing that you are the author of your own life narrative. You possess the power to define your worth. Not society, not your social media followers, nor the people around you. It involves anchoring your self-esteem in who you are, the values you uphold, the kindness you extend, and the dedication you invest in being your best self. Now let's reflect together. Whose life are you living? Are your choices genuinely reflective of your desires? Or are they attempts to fit into someone else's blueprint? Engaging with these questions can help realign your actions with your true self. Consider also the power of vulnerability. Being true to yourself means being open about your flaws, understanding that perfection is an illusion. It's okay to be a work in progress, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. This authenticity draws the right people to you, those who value the real you. Remember Aristotle's concept of the golden mean, which speaks to finding balance. Apply this to how much we let others' opinions affect us striving for a healthy balance between considering constructive feedback and preserving our autonomy and self-worth. Adopting a stoic mindset means understanding that our worth is defined by our virtues, our actions, and our commitment to leading a meaningful life. Not by external accolades or approval, it's about constructing a robust inner fortress that remains steadfast, unaffected by the transient opinions of others. I invite you to commit to valuing yourself for who you truly are, not for the likes, follows, or approval you might garner. Embrace your authenticity with courage, living a life that resonates with your deepest truths. Remember, your worth is inherent and unique, and by being true to yourself, you illuminate the world with your most genuine light. Let's not merely navigate life but thrive in it bolstered by the confidence that comes from knowing we are living authentically, aligned with our values, and true to ourselves. A 26. Accepting Change In the unyielding march of time, the only constant companion we find is change. This ceaseless evolution isn't merely a backdrop to our lives, it's a vital player in the drama of human experience, essential for our growth and well-being. The Stoics, ancient philosophers who mastered the art of tranquility, knew this truth intimately. They taught that embracing change isn't just necessary, it's the essence of our existence. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once said, Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs? This perspective invites us to see change as a thread in the grand tapestry of life uniquely suited to our personal evolution. It is neither an adversary nor a benevolent force, it simply is. By accepting it, we align ourselves with the very rhythm of the universe. The Stoic sage, Seneca, advised against becoming too anchored to our current circumstances, which are as mutable as the winds. He counseled flexibility and foresight, understanding that every season of life prepares us for the next. This flexibility is crucial. It helps us avoid the deep trenches of disappointment that can ensnare those too rigid to adapt. Epictetus, another pillar of Stoic thought, 
distinguished between our circle of influence and the sphere of concern. He taught that while we cannot control the storms that life sends our way, we can adjust our sails. Our power lies in our responses and our ability to turn challenges into opportunities for growth. This empowering mindset transforms the act of experiencing change from a passive occurrence to an active engagement. How, then, can we cultivate a more welcoming attitude toward change? It starts with recognizing its inevitability. Change is as natural as the changing tides and shifting seasons. Everything around us, from the macrocosm of the universe to the microcosm of our cells, is in perpetual flux. By embracing this, we embrace life itself. Mindfulness is our next tool. Present awareness anchors us in the reality of the moment, reducing fears about the past or future. It allows us to live fully in the present, appreciating it without clinging, ready to let go when the time comes. This presence of mind creates a space for acceptance and a smoother transition when situations evolve. Moreover, each change brings with it a lesson. Instead of wallowing in the question, why is this happening to me? We can shift to, what can I learn from this? This change in perspective is powerful, turning potential stumbling blocks into stepping stones and challenges into invaluable lessons that forge our character and resilience. Aristotle emphasized the pursuit of a virtuous life as the cornerstone of happiness, part of which involves adaptability, an essential virtue for thriving amid life's incessant changes. In seeking balance and harmony, we find peace. Modern psychological theories align with these ancient Stoic practices, suggesting that viewing change as an opportunity, rather than a threat, can decrease our stress and enhance our resilience. It prepares us to better handle the unexpected and to find joy in the new paths that unfold before us. Let us remind ourselves. To go with the flow is not to passively drift along, but to actively engage with the dynamic, ever-changing reality of life. It's about navigating change with courage, grace, and an open heart, ready to welcome the endless possibilities each new day brings. Together, despite our varied paths and experiences, we share the common journey of life, its ups and its downs. By adopting a compassionate and understanding attitude towards others, we contribute to a world that is not only more adaptable, but also kinder and more connected. Remember, in the vast ocean of existence, we are all navigating the currents of change together, one small ripple at a time. Pull. 27. Compassion and Empathy The Stoics, those sages of antiquity, taught us the virtues of compassion and empathy emphasizing the deep interconnectedness of all humans. They saw kindness and understanding toward others, not just as moral duties, but as fundamental components of a virtuous life. Reflect on this powerful idea from Marcus Aurelius, who reminded us that what brings no benefit to the hive brings none to the bee. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of our mutual dependency. The well-being of each individual is intrinsically linked to the well-being of the whole community. Seneca, another towering figure in Stoicism, championed the natural human inclination towards compassion. He believed that by aiding others we inherently assist ourselves. Seneca's teachings encourage us to extend empathy even to those who have wronged us, recognizing that they too act out of their own conflicts and limitations. This perspective invites us to consider how might your life change if you viewed every interaction through a lens of empathy? Epictetus, with his pragmatic approach, urged us to strive to understand the motivations behind people's actions. This doesn't mean excusing harmful behaviors, but rather adopting a mindset of empathy to better grasp the experiences and viewpoints of others. In your day-to-day -day life, how often do you pause to truly understand where others are coming from? Practicing compassion and empathy starts with genuine listening. It's about immersing ourselves in the lives of those around us, sharing in their struggles, joys, fears, and hopes. By actively putting ourselves in their shoes, we bridge the divide between us, fostering a connection that underscores our shared humanity. Imagine the impact of truly listening to someone's story. How could this deepen your relationships? 
simple acts of kindness also play a crucial role in cultivating compassion. Even small gestures, a smile, a kind word, or a listening ear, can profoundly influence someone's day. Being present and attentive communicates to others that they are valued, and their feelings and experiences are significant. Moreover, supporting others in times of need, offering a shoulder to lean on without judgment, further embodies this principle. It underscores the dignity and worth of every individual, no matter our differences. Aristotle, a precursor to Stoic thought, highlighted the role of empathy in fostering strong, meaningful relationships. He taught that true friends share not only joys, but also sorrows, supporting one another with empathy and understanding. Modern psychology aligns with these Stoic views, illustrating that compassion and empathy not only strengthen our relationships, but also enhance our own emotional well-being. By nurturing others, we cultivate a sense of belonging, purpose, and happiness in our lives. Now I invite you to reflect. In what ways could you incorporate more compassionate and empathetic practices into your daily routine? How might this shift in perspective enhance your interactions and personal satisfaction? Join me next time as we continue to explore Stoic principles that can transform your life, inviting you to live with greater purpose, resilience, and serenity. Remember, every step you take in understanding and applying these teachings propels you, not just toward personal growth, but also toward a more harmonious life with those around you. I-28. Reflection and Self-Assessment Reflection and self-assessment stand as critical pillars in the Stoic philosophy, deeply rooted in the understanding that behind every human expression lies a myriad of stories and motivations. By embracing empathy and kindness toward others, we not only enhance the lives around us, but also discover a profound sense of joy and fulfillment in our own existence. Imagine the impact we could have if we all committed to spreading kindness liberally, creating waves of compassion that gradually transform our world, one empathetic action at a time. This concept beckons us to take meaningful pauses, real, substantial breaks to reflect on our actions, thoughts, and the paths we've traversed. It's about fostering growth, introspection, and ensuring our lives align with our deepest values. In today's perpetually forward-charging society, this practice of reflection serves as an anchor, keeping us from being adrift and guiding us toward our true course. Historically, Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius have emphasized the significance of reflection. Aurelius, through his introspective writings and meditations, demonstrated how integral reflection was, even as he governed an empire. He believed that the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts, a powerful reminder that our internal dialogue directly influences our external realities. Seneca, Another Stoic luminary advocated for regular self-assessment to cultivate wisdom and personal growth. He likened life to a theatrical play where it becomes essential to periodically review our roles and performances. Are our actions in sync with the character we aim to portray? Do they reflect the script we hold dear, the narrative of our lives? Similarly, Epictetus taught his followers to conclude each day by examining their actions and attitudes not to criticize themselves, but to enhance self-awareness and facilitate growth. He encouraged questions like, what did I do well? What did I do wrong? What responsibilities did I neglect? Such reflective inquiries help us navigate our lives more deliberately, making adjustments that align us closer to our ideals. But how can we integrate this stoic practice of reflection and self-review into our bustling modern lives? Start by establishing it as a daily habit. Dedicate a few minutes each evening to ponder your day. Reflect on your triumphs, challenges, and how you responded to them. Initially, this might be a mental exercise, but jotting down your thoughts can amplify its benefits, offering a physical record of your personal evolution. Moreover, utilize reflection as a vehicle for gratitude. As you review your day, also acknowledge the moments regardless of their size, that sparked joy or gratitude. This helps counterbalance our natural tendency to dwell on the negative, fostering a more optimistic life outlook.
Approach this reflective practice with kindness and compassion toward yourself. It's not about chastising yourself for missteps but recognizing them as opportunities for learning and growth. Treat yourself with the same understanding and support you would offer a cherished friend. Aristotle, too, emphasized the importance of a reflective life, asserting that true wisdom stems from comprehending our actions and our role in the broader world. This reflection is at the heart of living an examined life, one that aligns with virtue and excellence. Contemporary psychology supports the benefits of regular reflection, noting improvements in mental health, clarity of purpose, and personal growth. Reflecting helps us process emotions, learn from our experiences, and make more informed decisions. So why not commit to this practice of regular reflection and review? Let it be your guide, ensuring that you're not merely passing through life but actively shaping it according to your values. By taking time to look back, we gain the insights necessary to move forward more aligned, more aware, and more attuned to the essence of who we are and who we aspire to become. Cherish this journey of introspection, for it is in knowing ourselves that we unlock the pathway to genuine fulfillment and happiness. What steps can you take today to begin this practice of reflection, and how might it change the way you view your life and actions? I-29. Exercise. One of the vital practices that aligns seamlessly with Stoic principles is the discipline of exercise. Renowned Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, As long as you live, keep learning how to live. This resonates profoundly when we consider the transformative power of regular physical activity on our overall well-being. Exercise is far more than a tool for physical enhancement. It is a catalyst for comprehensive transformation. Studies consistently reveal the multifaceted benefits of sustained physical activity. Just a month of regular running can significantly reduce weight, while three months of consistent effort can improve the functioning of your heart and lungs. But the benefits compound dramatically with time. After six months, your immune system strengthens, enhancing your body's ability to ward off illness. Persist for a year, and you might feel reborn with a vigor and vitality that seemed lost to time. The long-term effects are even more striking. Over three years of regular exercise, and you'll likely notice that your physical and mental states not only match, but exceed those of your peers. This isn't just about staying fit. It's about a profound internal transformation that echoes the stoic pursuit of self-mastery and resilience. Moreover, exercise transcends physical boundaries. It expands your mind and heals your psyche. It is a powerful antidote to the stresses of modern life, improving concentration and work efficiency, and fostering a sense of inner peace. In the realm of Stoicism, where control over the mind is paramount, the clarity and tranquility gained from exercise are invaluable. However, in the adult world, where responsibilities abound, it's all too easy to become overweight, sedentary, and withdrawn. The modern lifestyle predisposes many to the state, yet it is not an inevitable fate. You have the power to meet a better version of yourself. It requires no miraculous efforts, just the simple, steadfast commitment to moving your body. This journey towards transformation through exercise is not merely about combating physical inertia, but about embracing a stoic attitude towards life's challenges. It encourages us to rise above our present limitations and to cultivate a spirit that is as robust as our bodies. As Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In every drop of sweat, in every breathless moment, you are not just training your body but also fortifying your soul. By integrating the practice of regular exercise into your life, you're not just adhering to a fitness routine. You're embarking on a stoic journey to rediscover your fullest potential. This path of physical vigor and mental equity is essential for anyone seeking to thrive in the complexity of modern existence. So, as you lace up your running shoes or step onto the yoga mat, remember that each step is a step towards not just a healthier life, but a more profound fulfillment. Embrace this journey for each day offers a new opportunity to strengthen not only your body, but your resolve and spirit. This is the essence of a life transformed, not just in fleeting moments, but in sustainable, 
meaningful ways that resonate through every aspect of your being. 30. Learning In this fast-paced world where change is the only constant, embracing a philosophy of lifelong learning isn't just a choice. It's a necessity. Think about this. Our abilities are akin to dishes and utensils in our kitchen. If one set breaks, you don't just stop eating. You find another set and continue your meal. Similarly, when faced with new challenges or when old skills become obsolete, the resilient seek new knowledge to keep thriving. This adaptability ensures that you're always equipped to handle the ever-shifting landscape of modern life. Imagine you're in a race where the track changes unpredictably. Those who pause to wait for luck may find themselves left behind. In contrast, individuals who invest in themselves, dedicating time to learn and grow, are the ones who maintain their edge. In an era dominated by the Internet, barriers to acquiring knowledge have crumbled. With a wealth of resources at your fingertips, from free online courses offered by prestigious universities to paid workshops that refine skills in English, emotional intelligence, communication, and problem solving, there's no excuse not to expand your horizons. Consider making it a daily habit to spend at least an hour after work focused on personal development. It might seem like a small investment, but over time, this commitment can dramatically increase your value, both in your own eyes and to others. Every decision you make today subtly shapes the person you will become a decade later. By utilizing even the odd moments of your day for small learning opportunities, you create a ripple effect that can have a profound impact on your future. Meet Alex, a middle-level manager in a tech company, who realized that he was hitting a professional plateau. Instead of resigning himself to stagnation, Alex began to use his evenings to learn about emerging technologies and leadership strategies. Over time, not only did his knowledge expand, but his newfound skills led to innovative projects and a promotion. Alex's story illustrates that when you invest in yourself, you prepare the ground for future success, and when success comes, it's not just luck, you truly deserve it. Why not start today? What small step can you take to invest in your future? Remember, each little effort accumulates, and like compound interest, the returns on your investment in learning can be staggering. As we conclude, let this resonate with you. One day in the future, when you think you are lucky, actually, you are the one who deserves it. Embrace learning as a lifelong journey. Your future self will thank you for the foresight and effort manifesting as the success you planned and worked for. Let this be your transformation, not just in thought, but in action. Nine Principles Smart People Understand, life is a practice, suffering makes you wise, failure makes you stronger. Truly mature individuals embrace these nine principles. One, five principles that the strong understand. When it comes to navigating the complexities of modern life, there are certain principles that the wisest among us seem to understand instinctively. These principles are not just strategies. They are ways of seeing and interacting with the world that can lead to profound personal growth and success. Today, I want to share these insights with you in the hope that they might illuminate your path as they have illuminated the paths of many before you. Let's begin with the art of patience. Patience is not simply about waiting, it's about maintaining a calm demeanor and a clear mind while you work towards your goals. It's tempting to share your plans with others seeking validation, or boasting about future triumphs. But true strength lies in restraint. Show them the results, not the plans. This approach not only keeps your competitors guessing, but also allows you the personal satisfaction of unveiling your achievements when they are fully realized. Moving on, consider the power of solitude. In our hyper-connected world, being alone can sometimes feel uncomfortable. However, it is in these moments of solitude that you can truly hear your own thoughts and tap into your inner wisdom. Embracing solitude helps you to build a fortress of invincibility around yourself as you become more self-reliant and tuned in to your true desires and ambitions. Now think about emotional control. Emotions are powerful motivators but can also be significant obstacles if not managed effectively. 
Those who learn to master their emotions can navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and are less likely to be swayed by fleeting temptations or setbacks. This mastery is a hallmark of those who achieve what many might call dazzling success. Furthermore, consider the value of discernment in relationships. It might sound harsh, but learning to be a bit cold isn't about lacking empathy or warmth. It's about recognizing when relationships are no longer serving your growth and are instead pulling you away from your goals. Decisively letting go of what no longer benefits you frees up your energy for self-improvement and for cultivating relationships that truly matter. Lastly, embrace every experience as a valuable asset. It's easy to celebrate good fortune and despair at misfortune, but every experience, particularly the unfortunate ones, are rich with lessons. These experiences forge resilience and wisdom, turning seeming setbacks into stepping stones towards success. Imagine you are starting a new venture or taking a bold step in your career. Along the way, you encounter setbacks and challenges that seem to thwart your progress. Instead of becoming discouraged, you remember these principles. You keep your plans close to your chest, working silently until the moment is right to reveal your achievements. You cherish your alone time, using it to reflect and strategize. You manage your emotions, staying focused, despite the highs and lows. You assess your relationships, investing in those that support your vision. And through it all, you treat each obstacle as a lesson, learning and adapting as you go. How might these practices change the outcome? How might they change you? As you reflect on these principles, ask yourself, which of these areas do I need to develop further? Am I letting short-term emotions dictate my actions? Am I holding on to relationships or habits that no longer serve my greater good? Each question guides you deeper into self-reflection, encouraging a dialogue with yourself that can lead to real, actionable change. By integrating these five principles into your life, you will not only advance toward your goals but also develop a profound inner strength and wisdom. Remember, the journey to becoming strong, in the truest sense of the word, is continuous and ever-evolving. It demands persistence, introspection, and a willingness to grow. Take these lessons to heart and let them guide you to a life of purpose and quiet confidence. Your journey is uniquely yours, but the principles that guide you are universal. Embrace them and watch how they transform your world. 2. Unless you push yourself beyond your limits, you will never know how strong you are. In the heart of every individual lies an untapped reservoir of potential, a truth starkly illuminated by stoic wisdom, which urges us to push beyond the boundaries we self-impose. It's here on the brink of our perceived limitations that we discover our true strength. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once remarked, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful sentiment echoes through the ages, serving as a testament to the resilience that is demanded of us when faced with adversity. Imagine the countless innovators and pioneers who have walked this path before us. Each of them, like a phoenix rising from its ashes, has faced failure not as an endpoint, but as a critical juncture, a moment to rise again with newfound strength. This cycle of struggle and triumph is not just a historical narrative, but a present-day call to action. Each challenge we encounter is an opportunity to test our resolve and fortitude, to learn and to evolve beyond what we once thought possible. In modern life, where comfort often leads to complacency, adopting this stoic principle means seeking out challenges rather than shying away from them. It means embracing the discomfort that comes with personal and professional growth. When we push beyond our limits, we not only enhance our own capabilities, but also contribute to a broader societal advancement. The stories of those who have overcome the odds are not merely to inspire, they are blueprints for our own journey toward self-actualization. By incorporating this ethos into our daily lives, we pave the way for continual self-improvement. It's crucial, therefore, to not retreat at the first sign of difficulty, but to persevere, keeping in mind another of Aurelius's teachings. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Thus, 
as we face life's inevitable challenges. Let us remember that our greatest battles are often those that forge the deepest parts of our character. By understanding and embracing the notion that what stands in our way indeed becomes our way, we align ourselves with a timeless principle that encourages resilience, determination, and a profound understanding of our own inner strength. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us hold fast to these stoic tenets, applying them not only in moments of overt challenge, but in our everyday decisions. In doing so, we cultivate a life of purpose, fortitude, and unwavering progress. 3. To survive in this world, you must remember. The first principle to understand is acceptance, welcoming what life throws at us with open arms. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, Do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This underscores the necessity to face life's happenings without evasion or retreat. How might embracing this mindset change the way you confront your daily challenges? Secondly, we explore the virtue of managing expectations. It's crucial to keep our anticipations of the future grounded. Worrying about the unknown breeds unnecessary fear and anxiety. Marcus Aurelius advised, Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it if you have to with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Consider this. How often do your worries about tomorrow steal the joy from today? Our third principle centers on the power of now, the present moment. A stable mind, one focused on what is directly before us, leads to a solid and serene life. As Seneca elegantly put it, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. What could you achieve today by channeling your energy into the present? Next, we consider the art of letting go of the past. Whether joyous or painful, past experiences should not anchor us. Like waves, they retreat and give way to new possibilities. Every day offers a fresh start, a clean slate. Think about it. What past burdens could you release to make room for new growth? As we move forward, we explore the significance of self-control and discipline. The ability to govern our responses and reactions, not just externally but internally, provides a foundation of inner strength. What areas of your life could benefit from greater self-discipline? Understanding and practicing resilience forms our sixth principle. Life's inevitable adversities are not roadblocks but stepping stones. As the Stoic wisdom goes, the obstacle in the path becomes the path. Reflect on this. When was the last time a challenge made you stronger? Our seventh principle focuses on compassion and empathy. Understanding the struggles of others and offering support embodies true Stoic compassion. How can you extend more kindness and understanding in your interactions? Next, we delve into the importance of community and relationships. As social beings, our connections with others provide strength and comfort. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, people exist for the sake of one another. How can you strengthen your bonds with those around you? Lastly, we embrace the pursuit of wisdom. Continual learning and self-reflection are at the core of Stoic philosophy. Every day is an opportunity to grow wiser. Ask yourself, what have you learned today that you did not know yesterday? As we conclude this exploration of Stoic principles, I invite you to reflect on these ideas and how they can be integrated into your life. Which of these principles resonated most with you today? Share your thoughts and join our community as we continue this journey of wisdom together. Remember, the path of Stoicism is not just about learning. It's about transforming our lives through the timeless wisdom of the ancients. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening exploration. Until next time, live wisely and live well. 4. Stop pursuing. Stop pursuing. This simple yet profound advice can transform your life profoundly. When you halt the relentless chase for love and instead open your heart simply and authentically, something magical happens. Love in its most genuine form often arrives when least expected. Similarly, if you cease the pursuit of success and focus merely on the actions leading towards your goals, you allow for a natural progression of events. 
Success then becomes not just an end, but a journey characterized by growth and learning. And what about maturity? It's easy to obsess over appearing mature and wise beyond your years. However, true maturity comes from a consistent effort to cultivate your character, to grow through your experiences, and to learn from both successes and failures. When you focus on these aspects, maturity follows as a natural byproduct, not as something forcefully sought. Now let's draw a parallel with modern life. Consider the story of Emily, a young entrepreneur whose early career was marked by a feverish pursuit of business success. She worked long hours, chased every networking opportunity, and was always on the lookout for the next big thing. However, despite her hard work and dedication, true success eluded her. It wasn't until Emily decided to focus solely on improving her product and genuinely caring for her customers that her business began to thrive. This shift in focus from merely achieving success to performing her best in her current tasks made all the difference. As you reflect on this story, ask yourself, are you like Emily, caught up in the pursuit of an endpoint? Or are you living in the moment focusing on the path rather than the destination? This shift in focus is subtle but powerful. It encourages a fuller, more present engagement with life. As we navigate through this discussion, remember that stopping the pursuit doesn't mean giving up your dreams or settling for less. It means engaging deeply with the present, committing fully to the process, and letting results unfold naturally. The beauty of life often lies not in the endpoints, but in the journeys that shape us. To conclude, the key takeaway is that when you stop pursuing and start living, you open up new possibilities for happiness and success. This doesn't just apply to personal growth, but also to how we engage with others and the world around us. The less we focus on chasing after the things we want, the more we can focus on doing well in our current endeavors and allowing life to unfold beautifully and naturally. 5. Know when enough is enough. In the bustling corridors of modern life where every possession feels like a stepping stone to the next, there lies a profound truth often overlooked. The wisdom of sufficiency. This idea is encapsulated in a pivotal Stoic principle, knowing when enough is enough. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once remarked, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This statement underscores the inherent danger of perpetual wanting, which can lead to a cycle of endless dissatisfaction. When we speak of knowing when enough is enough, we are not merely referring to material possessions, but also to our engagements, desires, and emotional investments. In an era where conversations can quickly spiral from trivial chatter to deep entanglements, recognizing the boundary of sufficiency can serve as a safeguard. Too much talk, as the adage goes, can lead to farewells. Farewells to hugs, hugs to possession, and possession, ultimately, to domination. This chain reaction not only delineates the progression from mere words to complex relationships, but also highlights how quickly we can become entangled in webs of our own making. The Stoics teach us that true freedom comes from within. Knowing oneself and understanding our limits is a cornerstone of this philosophy. This self-awareness is crucial in all aspects of life, especially in interactions and acquisitions. By embracing the concept of enough, we can steer clear of the pitfalls of excess that modern society often glamorizes. Consider the tale of Alexander the Great, who, upon conquering known worlds, wept because there were no more worlds to conquer. His insatiable desire for more left him ultimately unfulfilled, a clear testament to the folly of endless desire. This story is not just a historical recount but a metaphor for the human condition. The pursuit of more can lead us down a path of never-ending dissatisfaction, where each achievement only inflates the appetite for what is next. To cultivate the virtue of sufficiency, one must first undertake a thorough examination of one's values and priorities. It is essential to define what truly matters. Does the pursuit of this goal enrich your life, or does it lead you further from peace? By applying this stoic filter, we can discern which desires align with our deepest values, 
and which are merely distractions dress it as ambitions. As we navigate through the complexities of modern life, integrating Stoic principles into our daily routine can provide a much-needed anchor. The act of saying, enough, is not a sign of resignation, but a declaration of fulfillment. It is a powerful statement that you are in control of your desires, not enslaved by them. This philosophy does not just apply to personal consumption, but also to our professional endeavors, social interactions, and emotional commitments. To end, a quote from Epictetus resonates deeply with this Stoic principle. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Embracing the idea of enough helps us focus on what we can control. Our responses, our values, and our peace of mind. In doing so, we are not only adhering to a stoic ideal, but also crafting a life of genuine contentment and freedom. In essence, the wisdom of knowing when enough is enough teaches us to cherish what we have before time, makes us cherish what we had. This timeless principle, when woven into the fabric of our lives, not only enhances our personal well-being, but also fortifies our relationships by establishing clear boundaries and fostering mutual respect. As we learn to appreciate the sufficiency of the present, we build a foundation for a more peaceful and resilient future. 6. If you are going through the toughest time, imagine standing before a majestic waterfall or watching a fountain's graceful dance. These natural wonders exemplify beauty under pressure, and there's a profound lesson here for us. A waterfall never hesitates. It plunges with conviction because it has no other path but downward. Similarly, a fountain's beauty stems from the pressure that thrusts water skyward, creating a spectacle of droplets that shimmer in the sunlight. These scenes remind us that persistent forces, even gentle ones like water droplets, can sculpt the hardest stones. Their enduring nature teaches us about the power of persistence. When facing adversity, it's natural to feel the sting of failure, perhaps even embarrassment. But take a moment to reflect on those experiences. Isn't it commendable to rely on your own strength, to endure, and to strive despite the setbacks? Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once said, Our actions may be impeded, Taz, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions, because we can accommodate and adapt. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes, the obstacle to our acting. This powerful reminder underscores that obstacles don't block the path. They are the path. So what does it really mean to live wisely as Stoics suggest? It begins with understanding that hardships are not merely obstacles but opportunities. Opportunities to prove our resilience, to refine our character, and to demonstrate the strength of our convictions. Think about your own life. Have there been moments when, despite feeling the pressure, you found a way to rise, much like the waiter in a fountain? Now, let's dive deeper into this. How do we aptly this understanding daily? It starts with perception. Every challenge you face is a chance to practice virtue, to become better than you were. Epictetus, another esteemed Stoic, teaches us that men are disturbed not by things but by the view which they take of them. By changing our perspective, we change our response, and our response determines our growth. As you move forward, consider this. How can you transform your next challenge into your next victory? How can you see pressure not as a threat but as the very ingredient necessary for your growth and beauty? Engage with these thoughts, share your reflections, and let us cultivate a community where wisdom leads the way to a resilient and serene life. In summary, smart people, like the Stoics we admire, understand that true strength is born from adversity, that beauty and function often arise under pressure and that our greatest challenges are also our most valuable teachers. They teach us to adapt, to persist, and to emerge not just unscathed, but improved, fortified, and enlightened. Remember, it's not the presence of challenges, but our reaction to them that defines our path. So, as you face the pressures of life, consider how you can make them your stepping stones to greatness. What pressures are you facing today? and how can you view them as the catalyst for your growth? 7. 
People's true nature is revealed when their interests are touched. When life presses its full weight upon us, it's often then that the veil is lifted on our surroundings and we see the true colors of those we call friends. You might have heard the saying that you never truly know who's with you until you face adversity. This rings especially true when our personal interests are touched, revealing people's core nature. Have you ever noticed how adversity seems to draw out the essence of individuals for better or for worse? Consider the story of Jamie, who embarked on a startup journey with two close friends. In the early days, filled with enthusiasm and shared dreams, everything seemed harmonious. However, as financial pressures mounted and stakes grew higher, discrepancies started to appear. Jamie noticed a shift in their behavior. Support turned into skepticism, and the camaraderie once shared began to dissipate. It was not until Jamie faced the brink of bankruptcy that the true nature of these friendships came to light. One friend stepped back, citing risks, while the other, despite doubts, stayed, offering both moral and strategic support. This challenging period did not only strain relationships, but also prompted Jamie to introspect and prioritize personal and professional values. Through this ordeal, Jamie learned the hard lesson that sometimes, to grow and become who we need to be, we might have to lose what we have. But why do such experiences, harsh as they may be, often lead to profound self-reflection and even a decrease in greed? When you strip away the excess, what's left? It's usually in these stripped-down moments that we find clarity about what is genuinely important. Facing extreme adversity be it personal loss, professional failure, or financial ruin, can fundamentally change our perspective. It forces us to question our path, evaluate our desires, and sometimes to lessen our grip on materialistic pursuits. This idea brings us to an important reflection. Everything you endure has the potential to improve you, provided you can distinguish right from wrong. The cost of growing up often involves losing some parts of your current self, to evolve into the person you will become. It's not just about the external losses, but also about shedding outdated beliefs and habits that no longer serve you. Now think about your own life. Can you identify a moment when you face significant adversity? How did it change your understanding of friendship, success, and personal growth? Engage with this thought and share your experiences. How did your toughest moments reshape your priorities and help you to focus on what truly matters? In concluding, it's essential to remember that the trials we undergo are not just obstacles, but opportunities. They are nature's way of nudging us towards self-realization and growth. True wisdom lies in recognizing these moments, not as the end of our happiness, but as catalysts for deep, meaningful evolution. So, next time you find yourself in the throes of challenge, ask yourself, what is this situation trying to teach me? How can I emerge not just intact, but improved? These stories and reflections aren't just narratives. They are lessons in resilience, discernment, and the true meaning of success. Embrace them, learn from them, and use them to navigate the complex journey of life. 8. Humility Humility stands as a beacon of maturity and wisdom, a principle smart people not only understand, but strive to embody. Seneca, a venerated Stoic philosopher, once remarked, It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. This quote encapsulates the essence of humility, acknowledging our own imperfections while appreciating the strengths of others without feeling threatened or inferior. In a world that often rewards self-promotion and competitiveness, humility is both the armor and the weapon that allows us to navigate through life's challenges with grace and resilience. At its core, humility involves recognizing that our knowledge and abilities are limited. It's a silent admission that, regardless of our achievements or status, we are perpetually students of life. This realization doesn't weaken our resolve, but strengthens our capacity to learn, adapt, and grow. It encourages us to listen more attentively, engage more thoughtfully, and judge less harshly. As Epictetus advised, when all learning begins with the simple phrase, I do not know. By embracing humility, we open ourselves to new perspectives and opportunities. 
thereby fostering a culture of continuous improvement both in personal and professional realms. Furthermore, humility serves as a vital counterbalance to the modern pitfalls of arrogance and complacency. In today's fast-paced world, where success is often measured by material gains and social media clout, the humble approach of acknowledging one's flaws without belittling others' successes provides a refreshing path to genuine fulfillment. It dissuades us from the empty pursuit of accolades and directs our focus towards meaningful goals and lasting relationships. Moreover, humility is intrinsically linked to diligence. The realization that we have much to learn propels us to work harder and smarter. It prevents the stagnation associated with laziness, which invariably leads to failure. By continuously striving to better ourselves and contribute positively to the world around us, we embody the true spirit of humility. This principle not only enhances our personal growth, but also elevates our interactions with others, fostering an environment where collaboration and mutual respect prevail. In conclusion, humility is not about self-deprecation or weakness. It is about maintaining a realistic view of our capabilities and limitations. It encourages us to hold ourselves accountable, to strive for excellence without arrogance, and to remember that our journey is one of perpetual learning and growth. As we apply this timeless wisdom in our lives, we not only enrich our own experiences but also contribute to a healthier, more compassionate society. By integrating the principle of humility into our daily routines, we can navigate the modern hustle with a stoic serenity that truly enriches our journey and those around us. 9. Stay Calm This principle is not just about suppressing emotions. It's about mastering them in a way that enhances our interactions and decisions. Let's delve into how truly exceptional individuals maintain their composure through three distinct yet interconnected approaches. First, let's talk about communication. The Stoic philosophers like Seneca often emphasized the power of words. He famously said, Speak when you are angry and you will make the best speech you will ever regret. Drawing from this wisdom, smart people speak calmly. They are cheerful without being excessive and express discontent without losing control. This balanced emotional expression is crucial not only in personal relationships but also in professional settings where the right word can open doors and the wrong one can close them forever. Next, consider the action. There's an ancient saying that resonates deeply with Stoic principles. Ten years of sharpening a sword, knowing when to strike. This metaphor highlights the virtue of preparedness and precision. Just as a master swordsmith invests a decade in perfecting a blade, a wise person invests time in honing their skills and knowledge. But more importantly, they know when to apply them. This selective application of knowledge and skills ensures that their actions are impactful and meaningful. Lastly, in our interactions with others, humility serves as a cornerstone. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, advised, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Adopting humility as a base, smart people approach others with respect and openness, avoiding arrogance and vanity. This approach not only fosters healthy relationships but also cultivates a learning environment where ideas flourish and egos do not overshadow the collective goal. Now think about how these principles appear in your life. How do you communicate when under stress? Are your actions deliberate and timed for maximum impact? Do you approach your interactions with humility? Reflecting on these questions can help us better understand the Stoic path and inspire us to incorporate these practices into our daily lives. As we conclude, remember that the journey of a Stoic is continuous and ever-evolving. Each day presents new challenges and opportunities to apply these timeless principles. So as you move forward, consider how staying calm can transform not just your mindset, but also the world around you. How will you apply the Stoic calm in your next challenge? Thank you for joining me on this exploration of wisdom and practical philosophy. Until next time, keep pondering, keep practicing, and most importantly, keep progressing on your journey of wisdom. Have you ever found yourself lost in a maze of thoughts trapped in the endless loop of overthinking? Whether it's rerunning past conversations in your mind, 
obsessing over future possibilities, or being caught in the web of indecision. Overthinking can feel like a relentless adversary. We're here to arm you with 10 powerful stoic techniques designed to silence the chaos in your mind and guide you back to clarity and peace. If you're ready to step out of the mental storm and into tranquility, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's embark on this transformative journey together and discover how to master your thoughts and stop overthinking once and for all. Join us as we explore these life-changing strategies. 10 Stoic Ways to Stop Overthinking 1. Visualize your overthinking as an external force. Have you ever felt the unsettling onset of overthinking? It often creeps up subtly, like a fog slowly enveloping a clear sky, until suddenly you find yourself swamped by a torrent of worries and what-ifs. In our fast-paced world bombarded by ceaseless information and demands, it's not uncommon to find our minds cluttered with thoughts of the future, the past, and all the hypotheticals in between. Marcus Aurelius, a luminary in Stoic philosophy, wisely noted, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This observation brings us to a powerful Stoic strategy for combating overthinking, viewing it as an external force separate from our true selves. Imagine your thoughts as clouds passing over a mountain. You are the mountain, solid, majestic, unmovable. The clouds, representing your transient worries and overthinking, merely drift by without altering the mountain's stature. How can you protect yourself from these intrusive thoughts? Stoicism guides us to observe these thoughts passively, without engaging with them. Picture each thought as a bubble, floating away into the ether. This visualization practice not only reduces their impact, but also fortifies the realization that thoughts are fleeting. They have power over you only if you grasp them tightly and imbue them with undue importance. As you hone this skill of distinguishing your essence from the barrage of overthinking, it becomes easier to shield yourself. Think of this distinction as wearing earplugs in a noisy room. It's a proactive and constant endeavor that strengthens with daily practice. Whenever you catch yourself starting to overthink, Visualize those thoughts as mere noise, irrelevant and external to your identity. In doing this, you're not only safeguarding yourself from the clutches of overthinking but also reclaiming your mental space and serenity, step by step. Now, let's consider a modern example to illustrate this concept effectively. Imagine you're preparing for an important presentation at work. The stakes are high and suddenly, you're bombarded with thoughts of every possible thing that could go wrong. Instead of succumbing to this whirlwind of anxiety, you apply our stoic technique. You visualize each anxious thought as a leaf on a river, observing as each one floats by, acknowledging its presence but not engaging with it. The leaves may swirl around but they do not define the river's course. How does this make you feel? Can you see how detaching from these thoughts might change your approach to the anxiety they bring? Through such practices, you cultivate a mental reflex that empowers you to let go of intrusive thoughts before they escalate into a storm within your mind. The beauty of this approach is in its simplicity and its power to gradually fortify your mental resilience. By embracing these stoic principles, you're not just learning to reduce overthinking. You're enhancing the overall quality of your life. As you practice this technique, ask yourself, what changes do you notice in your daily stress levels and your overall happiness? How does shifting your perspective on thoughts alter your emotional landscape? Remember, the essence of stoicism lies in the mastery over one's thoughts and emotions, fostering a life of peace and contentment, regardless of external circumstances. Each time you choose to view your thoughts as separate from your core self, you're taking a significant step towards that serene life Aurelius envisioned. Your thoughts are not the enemy. They are simply temporary visitors passing through the landscape of your mind. By acknowledging this, you embrace the true Stoic path, a journey of wisdom, tranquility, and profound inner strength. 2. Take control by refocusing your energy. 
In a world where every day presents a flurry of decisions and dilemmas, it's all too easy to find oneself trapped in a vortex of overthinking. You know the feeling. It's as if your brain has too many browser tabs open, each blaring its own video creating a cacophony that leaves you paralyzed by what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. But what if you could hit pause on this mental chaos and reclaim clarity and control? This is not just a pipe dream, but a practical pathway illuminated by Stoic wisdom, especially relevant in our modern era of endless distractions. Seneca, a venerated Stoic philosopher, once eloquently stated, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. His words underscore a powerful remedy for overthinking, refocusing your mental energy on the present. By engaging fully with the here and now, you not only quiet the noise of potential futures, but also embrace the serenity of the current moment. The practical steps to achieve this are straightforward, yet transformative. Begin by grounding yourself with a simple task that demands your complete attention. It might be organizing your desk, taking a vigorous walk, or immersing yourself in a compelling book. Each of these activities anchors you firmly in the present, steering your thoughts away from unproductive spirals. Moreover, this approach is not about distraction, but about deliberate realignment of your focus. Stoicism teaches us that managing our thoughts isn't about suppression, but about wisely choosing where to direct our mental energy. This choice is akin to exercising a muscle. The more you practice it, the stronger and more disciplined your mind becomes. Over time, you'll find that what once seemed like an overpowering tide of overthinking can be managed, wave by wave, through purposeful action and presence in the moment. Such practical advice is not only timeless but also incredibly pertinent in today's fast-paced world, where the skill to calm one's mind can significantly enhance life's quality. This stoic method of focusing on the present can serve as a powerful tool to not just survive but thrive amidst life's challenges. By cultivating a disciplined mind, we can navigate the complexities of modern life with a calm and deliberate approach that leads to genuine contentment and resilience. 3. Embrace impermanence and practice letting go. Imagine your mind as a bustling intersection, with thoughts zooming past like cars, each clamoring for your attention. Now, imagine that each of these thoughts, whether they are regrets from yesterday or worries about tomorrow, are just visitors passing through. Overthinking traps us in a loop, cycling through these visitors long after they should have left. This universal struggle touches everyone from students bracing for exams to professionals, poised for presentations and even those of us simply trying to drift into sleep as our thoughts race unabated. In the midst of this mental marathon, let's find solace in the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who reminds us, He who fears death will never do anything worthy of a man who is alive. This profound insight into the nature of impermanence is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It tells us that change is the only constant, and this truth applies as much to the overwhelming thoughts in our minds as to anything else in life. When we overthink, we often cling to our thoughts as if they are permanent fixtures, essential parts of our identity. However, embracing the impermanence of these thoughts can be liberating. Think about a river, where each thought is a leaf floating on the surface, destined to drift away eventually. Or perhaps envision them as clouds, constantly reshaping and moving across the sky. These visualizations are not just exercises in imagination, but practical tools to remind us that thoughts, by their very nature, are transient. Incorporating this understanding into daily life by consciously deciding to let go of non-serving thoughts can be transformative. It's not about forcefully expelling thoughts from your mind, but gently allowing them to leave, giving them no reason to stay. This act of letting go is not a sign of defeat but a declaration of strength. It demonstrates the courage to reclaim your mental space from the clutches of redundant thoughts that otherwise live rent-free in your head. By practicing this form of mental decluttering, you'll begin to notice the quiet that was always there, obscured only by the cacophony of overthinking. 
embracing impermanence thus evolves from a mere technique to a profound shift towards a more peaceful, present way of living. How often do you catch yourself holding on to thoughts that don't serve you? What could you achieve if that mental energy were redirected towards the present moment? Reflect on these questions as we explore more ways to apply Stoic wisdom to conquer overthinking and lead a more serene life. Join us as we continue this journey through Stoicism, where we uncover the power of ancient philosophy to address the modern mind's complexities. Together, let's explore how these timeless teachings can be woven seamlessly into the fabric of our daily lives, guiding us towards greater wisdom and inner peace. 4. Create a worry period. Do worries often linger in your mind like the constant hum of a refrigerator, subtly persistent and always present? Whether you're at work, enjoying time with friends, or attempting to sleep, these nagging thoughts can hijack your mental stage like uninvited actors who refuse to exit. But take a moment to reflect on the words of the Stoic philosopher, Epictetus. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. While it might seem somewhat counterintuitive, this powerful statement encourages us to prioritize peace over the fear of appearing complacent or naive by managing our concerns strategically. Imagine setting aside a specific time each day, say 20 minutes in the afternoon, solely dedicated to addressing these worries. This period allows you to dive deep into your anxieties, scrutinize their roots, and possibly document them. Ask yourself, what exactly am I worried about? How likely are these scenarios to occur? What steps can I take to mitigate these fears? Often this focused session helps reveal that many of our worries are like shadows, intimidating in size but lacking substance when confronted directly. By teaching your mind that there's an appropriate time and place for worry, and it's not every moment of the day you can reclaim control over your thoughts. Once your designated worry period concludes, it's essential to consciously set these thoughts aside and move on, giving you the freedom to enjoy the rest of your day without the burden of unchecked anxieties. This practice of compartmentalization doesn't aim to eliminate worries entirely, as that would be unrealistic, but to diminish their impact on your daily life. This approach to managing worries is akin to tidying up a cluttered room, where each thought is placed in its rightful spot allowing you to appreciate the calmness of a well-ordered space. Over time, you may find that worries lose their grip when they are not allowed to wander freely, and life feels lighter and more joyful. Let's consider a modern scenario. You're a project manager working on a significant project with a looming deadline. The stress is mounting, and worries about potential outcomes begin to crowd your mind. By scheduling a worry period, you give yourself the space to address these concerns systematically analyze potential solutions, and prepare for challenges without letting anxiety dominate your entire day. This method not only enhances your productivity but also improves your overall mental well-being. Now I pose a question to you. What worries could you address in your next worry period that might be clouding your judgment or stealing your peace? This technique is a powerful tool that allows you to face your fears without letting them overrun your life. As you practice this, you'll likely discover a profound sense of liberation and empowerment, knowing that you have the strength to compartmentalize and control your internal narrative. In embracing this stoic method, you learn a valuable lesson. By confining our worries to a specific time and space, we not only enhance our focus and efficiency during the day, but also cultivate a greater sense of peace and satisfaction in our lives. 5. Breakdown Overwhelming thoughts into actionable steps. In our fast-paced, high-pressure world, it's all too easy to find oneself trapped under the weight of one's own thoughts. Overthinking is a common plight, a vast, shadowy cloud that can obscure our mental skies and immobilize us with its intensity. This paralysis is not just an individual struggle, but a collective human condition, magnified by modern demands for excellence in every arena of life, be it at work, in personal relationships or on the frontiers of personal growth. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius offers a beacon of clarity amidst this fog. The impediment to action advances action, 
what stands in the way becomes the way. This wisdom underpins a powerful technique to break the chain of overthinking by transforming overwhelming thoughts into actionable steps. Consider your sprawling worry or multifaceted problem. Now ask yourself, what's the very next step I can take? Focus not on the entire journey ahead but on the immediate, single step forward. Acting on one manageable piece may seem inconsequential, yet its impact is profound. By channeling your energies from passive worrying to active doing, you begin to untangle the complex knot of your thoughts, one strand at a time. This approach doesn't belittle the complexity of your concerns. Rather, it equips you to navigate through them with deliberate intent and precise action. The true elegance of this method lies in its simplicity and cumulative effectiveness. Each small step not only propels you forward, but also builds momentum. Looking back, what once appeared as an insurmountable boulder of worry now transforms into a trail of pebbles you've confidently traversed, step by step. This process cultivates patience, bolsters resilience, and fosters a deep-seated trust in your capacity to face and overcome life's challenges. As you progress, the once daunting task recedes into the distance, your path clears, and the overthinking that clouded your mind gives way to a renewed sense of accomplishment and clarity. Incorporating this stoic practice into your daily life can profoundly shift how you perceive and interact with the challenges you face. By recognizing that each barrier is not just an obstacle but an opportunity for action, you reframe your perspective and reclaim control over your mental landscape. This strategy doesn't just alleviate overthinking, it transforms a passive state of worry into a series of active steps towards resolution, echoing another timeless adage. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, by Lao Tzu. Thus, as you incorporate these actionable insights into your daily routine, you not only address the symptoms of overthinking, but also nurture a resilient, action-oriented mindset that is fundamentally stoic in nature. As we continue to navigate the complexities of modern life, remember that the principles of stoicism are not merely academic, they are practical tools that can guide us through the ebbs and flows of everyday existence. Embrace these practices and watch as the overwhelming thoughts that once dominated your horizon shrink into manageable steps that lead to profound growth and clarity. Sick and shift your perspective to gratitude. Our minds, intricate and often deceptive, can trap us in a labyrinth of overthinking. We ruminate on our deficiencies, the things that might go wrong and the heights we've yet to achieve. This relentless cycle not only drains our energy but leaves us feeling profoundly discontent. The root of overthinking often lies in our tendency to dwell on the negatives, the things we lack, and the not yet aspects of our lives, which sadly overshadows the positives that are already present. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once insightfully remarked, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This piece of wisdom serves as a clarion call to redirect our focus from scarcity to abundance. From a mindset of overthinking to one of gratitude, it's about recognizing and appreciating the value of the now, the present moment, and all the blessings that we tend to overlook when we are preoccupied with future worries. How often do we take a moment to acknowledge the simple pleasures that bring joy to our everyday lives? The practice of gratitude is a powerful tool that extracts us from the mental ruts and plants our feet in the fertile ground of the present, where life truly unfolds. To embark on this transformative journey, begin each day by identifying and appreciating three things you're thankful for. These acknowledgments don't need to be monumental, they just need to be sincere. Perhaps it's the taste of a well-brewed cup of coffee, the comfort of your favorite hoodie, or a thoughtful message from a friend. Incorporating this simple yet profound practice can pivot your focus away from the cycle of overthinking and towards a burgeoning appreciation for what you have in your life right now. By grounding yourself in gratitude, you not only quiet the incessant noise of overthinking, but also enhance your daily experience. This sense of appreciation amplifies the positives in our lives and gradually shifts our internal dialogue from one of scarcity to one of abundance. Over time, this new outlook not only changes how we face life's challenges, 
but also turns them into opportunities to further acknowledge and cherish what is already enriching our lives. This transformation is not merely about experiencing transient moments of happiness. It's about constructing a durable foundation of contentment that will support you through the inevitable fluctuations of life. Now let me ask you, what are three things you're grateful for today? Engage with us in the comments below, share your thoughts, and let's discuss how these reflections have impacted your day. By fostering this community of gratitude, we can all help each other focus on the present and find true contentment in our lives. In conclusion, embracing gratitude is not just a practice but a lifestyle change. A stoic approach to living that emphasizes the fullness of the present over the emptiness of overthinking. Let's continue to explore and apply these principles together, enriching our lives with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and remember, the path to a serene mind begins with a single, grateful thought. 7. Focus on effort, not outcome. In our modern hustle, where the end game often dictates the course of action, Overthinking can easily trap us in a web of future uncertainties. It's like standing at the edge of a cliff, peering into the fog of what-ifs and potential disappointments that may never materialize. This dance with the unknown can paralyze us, fixating our thoughts on the possible outcomes rather than the actions leading to them. Consider the wisdom of the ancient Stoic, Epictetus, who implored us not to just speak of our philosophy but to live it. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. This powerful directive urges us to shift our focus from the unpredictable results of our actions to the actions themselves. In doing so, Stoicism teaches us to concentrate on our efforts and intentions, which are the true measures of our character and within our control, rather than on outcomes which are often not. Let's say you're working on a project at work. The deadline is looming and your mind starts spiraling into the abyss of overthinking. What if it's not good enough? What if I fail? Instead of succumbing to these anxieties, redirect your thoughts to the effort you're putting in. Are you giving it your best? Are you aligned with your core values? Are you engaged in honest and virtuous action? This mindset doesn't discount the importance of setting goals or striving for excellence but it emphasizes that the real value lies in the quality of your endeavor and the integrity with which you handle your tasks. By staying present in the process and focusing on what you can control, the input, you free yourself from the chains of outcome-driven anxiety. This not only enhances your immediate experience, but also enriches the quality of your output, as actions rooted in earnest effort naturally lead to higher quality results. It transforms every step of your journey into a manifestation of your philosophy, turning what could be mundane tasks into expressions of purpose and commitment. Imagine a scenario in a typical day where your technology fails during an important virtual meeting. Instead of spiraling into frustration or dissecting every possible repercussion, focus on handling the situation with composure and adaptability. This shift not only alleviates stress but also showcases your resilience and ability to manage unforeseen challenges, a testament to character much admired in both personal and professional realms. This approach liberates us from the weight of potential outcomes, allowing us to engage in our activities with a clear mind and a focused heart. It's about being fully immersed in the doing and knowing that responsibility ends with your best effort put forward. When you live this way, each step on your path becomes an achievement in itself, not just a means to an end, but a true embodiment of living purposefully. Now reflect on your own life. How often do you find yourself overthinking the outcomes rather than focusing on your efforts? Can you recall a time when shifting your focus to your immediate actions significantly changed the outcome? As we move toward concluding our discussion with the final three strategies, Remember that embracing this shift in focus not only empowers you to overcome overthinking, but also enables you to tap into your untapped strengths, cultivate practical resilience, and manage life's complexities with equilibrium and poise. These insights invite you to reflect on your journey, apply these principles, and ultimately live a life that truly embodies the wisdom of Stoicism. 
8. Practice Voluntary Discomfort In the turbulent dance of life, it is often our own minds that chain us to the rhythm of overthinking, especially when confronted with the unknown or uncomfortable. We find ourselves caught in an endless loop, imagining every possible scenario, each potential discomfort preparing meticulously as though over-preparation could shield us from life's unpredictabilities. This mental rehearsal, while seemingly prudent, serves more as a cage than a comfort, inhibiting growth and making overthinking the overseer of our mental boundaries. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher whose insights continue to illuminate the path of wisdom, once poignantly observed, the art of living is more like wrestling than dancing. His words resonate with the core Stoic practice of confronting challenges directly, rather than sidestepping them in a futile effort to maintain comfort. By embracing voluntary discomfort, we can recalibrate our minds to better manage uncertainty and curb the habit of overthinking. It involves small, deliberate actions that push us beyond the familiar territories of our daily routines, thereby cultivating resilience and adaptability. Imagine incorporating this practice into your everyday life with simple acts. Take a brisk cold shower in the morning, choose the stairs over the elevator, or perhaps sleep without a pillow. These acts, though minor, challenge you to step outside your comfort zone and to sit with the discomfort that arises, observing it without judgment. This is not a form of self-punishment, but a method to demonstrate to yourself that discomfort is far less daunting than your overthinking mind perceives. The beauty of voluntary discomfort lies in its paradoxical effect. The more we engage with the uncomfortable, the more comfortable we become in various life situations. As we regularly step into the realm of the unfamiliar, it gradually becomes known to us. The mind learns to quiet, becoming less reactive to changes and more focused on what truly can be controlled, our responses. This shift in perspective not only mitigates the tendency to overthink, but also fortifies an inner strength that remains steadfast amidst the fluctuating tides of life's circumstances. To encapsulate as we embark on this stoic journey to curb overthinking through the practice of voluntary discomfort, remember another sage piece of advice from the stoic repertoire offered by Seneca. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Apply this wisdom to embrace challenges actively, transforming the way you interact with your thoughts and the world around you. Through such practices, Stoicism provides not just a shield but a sword to carve through the complexities of modern life, ensuring that our spirits remain uncluttered by needless worries and wholly committed to the essence of living. 9. Reflect on the transience of life. How often do we find ourselves trapped in the labyrinth of our thoughts overanalyzing every possible scenario? If you've ever caught yourself in this storm of overthinking, you're not alone. Consider this. When we overthink, it's like zooming in too closely on the intricate details of our lives, losing sight of the grand tapestry of existence. Our thoughts spiral into a chaotic mix of, what if this happens? Or, what if that doesn't work out? Or, questions, leading us to a distorted view where minor issues appear colossal, consuming vast amounts of our mental energy and space. This microscopic perspective can obscure our view making even the smallest problems seem like mountains rather than the molehills they truly are. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once wrote, We are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill-supplied, but wasteful of it. This powerful statement urges us to reflect on the fleeting nature of our existence. Each moment we spend overthinking is a moment not fully lived, a precious slice of life left unsavored. Stoicism teaches us to step back and ask ourselves whether our current worries will matter in the grand timeline of our lives. Will the things that consume your thoughts today matter a year from now? What about in a decade? In the face of relentless thoughts, it's crucial to pause and remind ourselves that life is indeed fleeting. Ask yourself, is this moment of overthinking truly worth the limited time I have? By considering our life in its entirety and recognizing the transient nature of many of our worries, we learn to let go of trivial concerns. 
This isn't about cultivating a morose or indifferent outlook. Rather, it's about cherishing the present and focusing on what truly matters. Let's transform the ephemeral nature of life from a source of anxiety to a canvas on which we paint with the vivid colors of presence and engaged living. By contemplating the transience of life, we naturally begin to prioritize our experiences and concerns. This shift is a powerful antidote to overthinking, because it aligns our attention with the present, enriches our appreciation for the now, and diminishes the weight of future-focused anxieties. As you reflect on these ideas, ask yourself, what are the true priorities in my life? How can I anchor myself in the present moment? Remember, it's not the duration of your life that counts, but the depth of it. In the Stoic journey towards wisdom, let us embrace the philosophy that teaches us to value each moment and live fully in the here and now. Thank you for joining me today on this contemplative journey. As you move forward, carry with you the stoic wisdom that helps us rise above the chaos of overthinking and step into a life marked by clarity and purpose. Until next time, continue to reflect, learn, and grow in your stoic path. 10. Seek wisdom from outside yourself. Seeking wisdom from sources outside oneself is a powerful antidote to overthinking. When we're trapped in our own thoughts, it can feel as though we're navigating a labyrinthine maze, each turn compounding our confusion and making it harder to find a way out. Overthinking is cyclical. It begins and ends within the confines of our minds, often without a clear resolution. Yet Seneca, a luminary in Stoic philosophy, offers timeless guidance. Consult your friend on everything, especially on those matters concerning yourself. His counsel may then be useful, where your own self-love might impair your judgment. His insight illuminates a key Stoic principle, the importance of external perspectives in breaking the cycle of rumination. Imagine the fresh outlook a friend can provide, the unbiased advice from a mentor, or the enduring wisdom contained within books. In today's world, seeking advice is more accessible than ever. Whether it's a trusted friend or a seasoned professional, opening up about your thoughts can lead to newfound clarity. As you articulate your inner dialogues, not only does it help in crystallizing your thoughts, but it also welcomes objective feedback that might have been overlooked amidst your overthinking. The value of this approach extends beyond finding practical solutions. It underscores the indispensable nature of human connection. When we share our mental burdens, they often feel less overwhelming. This isn't an admission of weakness, but rather a testament to the collective strength inherent in our social bonds. Let the insights of others light your path out of the shadows of overthinking. With each interaction, the mental puzzles that once seemed insurmountable become more manageable. It's not that the issues themselves are less complex, but you're no longer tackling them alone. Consider a typical scenario in modern life, a project at work that has you stumped. You could spend hours, even days, wrestling with the problem in isolation. Or you could discuss the project with a colleague who might see a solution that never crossed your mind. Perhaps they've encountered a similar challenge before and can offer advice from their experience. This interaction not only helps you move forward with the project, but also strengthens your professional relationship and builds a supportive work environment. Why not take a moment to reflect on your own experiences? When has the perspective of someone else helped you see beyond the maze of your thoughts? How might you foster relationships that encourage mutual sharing and wisdom? In closing, remember that seeking external wisdom is more than a strategy. It's a way of engaging with the world that enriches your personal and professional life. By valuing and utilizing the perspectives of others, you empower yourself to navigate complex situations with greater ease and effectiveness. Let this practice be a cornerstone of your approach to overcoming overthinking, reminding you always of the strength found in collective wisdom. 11. Simplify your decision-making process. In an era overwhelmed by the barrage of daily choices, from the mundane to the pivotal, our inclination to overanalyze every possible outcome transforms the simple act of decision-making into an exhausting ordeal. 
The ancient wisdom of Stoicism, with its focus on clarity and simplicity, emerges as a beacon of guidance in this tumultuous sea of choices. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once insightfully remarked, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. This profound statement sheds light on the art of decision-making, emphasizing the need to strip away the superfluous and concentrate on the essence. To adeptly navigate this process begin by pinpointing the essential elements that bear the greatest significance in your decisions. Rather than being ensnared by the daunting array of what-ifs and potential consequences, discipline yourself to assess just a handful of critical factors. This might involve decisions being steered by your core values, opportunities for personal growth, or their repercussions on your loved ones. By focusing on these pivotal aspects, you effectively clear the mental clutter that often catalyzes overthinking. Furthermore, embrace the stoic virtue of accepting imperfection in decision-making. Marcus Aurelius, another venerable stoic figure, advised, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Applying this to our context, it's pertinent not to let previous errors or the dread of future ones govern your decision-making. Acknowledge that missteps are part of the human experience. Learn from them and proceed with the wisdom gained rather than being paralyzed by regret or apprehension about what might have been. By streamlining your decision-making process and welcoming the inevitability of imperfection, you will discover that choices become less intimidating and more manageable. This philosophy not only curtails overthinking, but also fosters a more serene and resilient approach to life's myriad decisions. As you implement these stoic strategies, remember that the goal is not to achieve perfection, but to make progress in the way you analyze and make decisions, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Incorporating these timeless stoic principles into our modern lives isn't just about reducing the stress of decision-making. It's about cultivating a mindset that values essentialism and pragmatism, paving the way for a life marked by greater satisfaction and tranquility. 12. Cultivate Mindful Awareness have you ever found yourself caught in the relentless whirlwind of overthinking? It's a common plight, where our minds, unanchored, drift into the tumult of what was and what could be, leaving us feeling unsettled and disconnected. The ancient Stoics, who were masters of personal discipline, taught us the value of living harmoniously with the unfolding nature of life. Consider the wisdom of Epictetus, who once said, do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This profound insight encourages us to embrace each moment as it comes, advocating for a life lived in full acceptance and presence, a potent antidote to overthinking. But how do we begin to embrace this mindful awareness? It starts with the simple yet profound act of paying attention to the now. Imagine yourself taking a quiet walk. Observe the colors of the sky, feel the ground under your feet, listen to the rustling leaves and breathe in the cool air. With each step, with each breath, you're pulling yourself back from the precipice of past and future to the safety of the present. When thoughts inevitably intrude as they are wont to do, acknowledge them. Recognize their presence, but don't invite them to stay. Gently, but firmly. Guide your focus back to the present. This practice isn't about suppressing thoughts or emotions. It's about observing them without judgment and letting them pass like leaves on a stream. This act of mindfulness can be woven into the fabric of our daily activities, eating, walking, or even during conversations. It's about being fully present in whatever you're doing, thus leaving no room for overthinking. Such serene acceptance of the present not only diminishes the urge to ruminate, but also transforms our entire relationship with our thoughts. We begin to see them as transient visitors, not permanent residents. Now you might wonder, does cultivating mindful awareness mean we ignore the future or forget the past? Not at all. It means engaging with life as it unfolds, moment by moment. By living in the present, we are better positioned to learn from the past and plan for the future without being overwhelmed by them. 
So, as we journey together through the teachings of Stoicism, consider this. What moments today can you practice being fully present? How might this practice change the way you relate to your thoughts? Engage with us, share your experiences, and let's explore together how the Stoic practice of mindful awareness can lead us to a more peaceful and centered existence. Life is full of flavors, both bitter and sweet. Without sorrow, there can be no joy. Life's path is full of turns, each with its own set of thorns. Life is varied, filled with both bitterness and sweetness, for without sorrow there would be no joy. Thus in life, when strength fails the heart, let nature take its course, for this too aligns with the human way. Some people cannot be persuaded, so smile and let them be. Some paths must be taken, so why hesitate? When there's no sun, learn to enjoy the coolness of the wind and clouds. When there are no flowers, learn to appreciate the warmth of the earth. Too much ambition tires you, satisfaction comes from knowing enough. Life is uneven, but sincerity is the true refuge. Only with a gentle smile can one see the beauty of the world, and only with a simple heart can one see the simplicity of life. Human life is full of shades, but honesty and simplicity are truly beautiful. Life is like a book, different for each person. Youth is like a storm. Old age like the droplets after the rain. Life is a sea of suffering, but steadfastness can turn suffering into joy. Convert the deceitful with sincerity. Transform the aggressive with compassion. Patience is cultivation. Suffering is a process and the outcome is enlightenment. Thus, in both adversity and prosperity, we need patience. Patience not only harmonizes all things, but is also the foundation for wisdom to arise. Patience is not weakness, but a manifestation of robust intelligence. Enduring loss cultivates virtue, while enduring hardship cultivates the spirit. Silence is golden. Patience is silver. Each person has their own bag of fortune. What you put into it you will receive. Everyone also has a mirror. How you treat the mirror it will reflect back to you. Look at others as you look at yourself. If you blame others, question your heart. Life is a play and we are the actors, cycling through countless lives and roles. Gains and losses like evening clouds and passing breezes. Without money, there is still righteousness, erase pain to gain love. Love and hatred are but games of fate. Once seen through, all hatred and delusion end. Sometimes joy comes from gain, sorrow from loss. But are gain and loss really different? Thus. The balance of gain and loss exists because without loss, there would be no gain. Human life lies between birth and death. The entire process is about repaying debts to each other. When debts of gratitude and grievance are cleared, each goes their own way, meeting only by fate. Therefore, seeing gain and loss lightly is wise. Meet others and live truthfully together. Don't leave one day with regrets towards each other. Don't be too rigid as a person. Don't be too heartless in actions. Between people, affection is as precious as gold. Between hearts, the closer the lean, the closer the bond. Live in a way that you're not ashamed before the heavens and your conscience. Work in a way that is worthy of your friends and family. Don't cover your conscience with deceit and fraud. Don't let interest blind you to covertly plan harm against others. Be a steadfast and righteous person. Be an honest person, thus, sleep soundly and at peace. The nature of people is hard to see through. The character of people can be understood. How many friends and relatives grow distant for the sake of interests? How many couples break up over money? Don't be too rigid as a person. Let go for others when you can. Don't be too heartless in work, give way to others when possible. In truth, human life is just an experiment to see how to be and work as a person. Being human is not difficult. What matters is how you do it. Good people in the end are cherished. Bad people ultimately avoided. Righteous people will have good fortune. The wicked will face retribution. In being and working, don't be too strict or too ruthless. Leaving a path for others also accumulates good fortune for yourself. No one can predict what the future holds. Help others, and they will help you. Harm others, and they will harm you. Take a step back and the world opens up, give way, and all around will brighten. Don't be too strict as a person. Being too strict can make people dislike you. 
Don't be too ruthless in work. Being too ruthless can breed disaster. No matter how difficult life is or how lacking in wealth, never compromise your integrity. After all, reputation is more important than money. Relationships are more important than interests. We choose to be kind, not because we are weak, but because we understand that kindness is our true nature. Being cruel will only lead to retribution. We choose to give way, not because we falter, but because we understand that stepping back can calm the waters. Giving way can clear the sky. We choose tolerance, not because we are cowardly, but because we understand that tolerance is a virtue, and virtue is never wrong. We choose to be naive not because we truly are, but because facing injustices and misunderstandings without dwelling on gains and losses allows us to respond generously. Sometimes we also wish to become naive, to laugh at the ways of the world. We choose sincerity. If we have something to say, we say it outright, because we understand that flattering lies are just coping mechanisms, and speaking harsh truths is our responsibility. We choose forgiveness not because we lack principles, but because we understand that, if we can forgive others, we should. Let nothing be too merciless. We value relationships, not because we are too attached, but because we always want to remember the good times with our friends, not severing ties and the hard-to-come-by affection and bonds. One should not hide their feelings. We understand that deceit does not lead to a good ending, and betrayal will not yield good results. We choose to be kind not because we are foolish, but because we understand that a thick virtue can carry all things. Helping others always brings joy. Which of these stoic principles resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below, as each insight not only enhances our collective understanding, but also strengthens our journey in personal growth. If you found value in today's discussion and wish to delve deeper into the wisdom of Stoicism, please consider subscribing to Stoic in Your Life. Don't forget to hit the like button and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss our future videos. Together, let's continue to transform our lives by applying these timeless Stoic teachings.